So guys, welcome back to the UK Haddo channel and today we have the first Southern Regional Tournament of 2024. This is based in London and we have a bunch of new teams here today, a bunch of old teams and we're just going to be seeing what's going on. I have Tom to my right, hello Tom. Hello. Alright, so we're going to wait, this first game's going to get started any second now, as soon as it starts we'll get in. It is against Team No versus Team Red Hats. It's going to be an interesting game, Team No are a Midlands team so they cannot earn bonus points from this tournament. That's pretty much it. Tom, are you excited? Yes. Go, come on, speak up. You also, yes, I'm excited. Yeah? Yes. All right, so, while we wait for this first team to get on, my objective for this tournament will be RDK first, the boss second, and I'm going to throw in something in the works. I reckon that Team No are going to come third and beat the Rock Hoppers. That's just my predictions yeah. because Team No have been training loads. However, the Rock Hoppers are a good team, so that's the prediction of the tournament. If it, works out, it works out. Okay. Do you want to come and say anything? Give him the hot seat, Tom. He needs the hot seat. Alright, so. I'm on the next game. Yeah, yes. you're on the next game. Who do you reckon is going to win this tournament? This tournament. Yeah. Uh, us. Where do you reckon you'll come? First? Yeah. Who do you reckon is going to come second? Boss. Third? Rock Hoppers. And fourth? Techno No. Techno No, okay. What? But it depends on the pools because no is in a hard pool. No is in a very hard pool. So they have to make it out of what? There's only two teams going through each, right? Yeah, only two. Yeah, so. So Team No, in Team No's pool, we it's have the Rock Hoppers, the Boss, the Golden Stars, and the Red Hats. Yeah. So it's going to be hard for them to get out of it. It's going to be between them and Rock Hoppers to get out. I don't think they can beat the Boss. The Boss are a bit too good. We'll see. Have they been training against Rock Hoppers? They've been training, not against Rock Hoppers, but they've been like training. For Rock no, they've been training for the tournament in general. They've been playing against T Wolves, who are a good team. However, I've actually never seen the Rock Hoppers play. Never. Never. Never so, watched the past. No. So, this is my first ever time I've seen them it. play. They, back in what, 2022, when they had all the different members, they were like second in the UK. Wow. No, 2021 actually. They changed it up though, because some of their players had like, like injuries to their knees and stuff, so they couldn't like, continue. We'll give, it, we'll give you an interview after your first game. Okay. Yeah? That's perfect. Thank you. No worries. Have a good tournament. Right, so guys, we're just getting this game started, waiting for the teams to be ready. How has everyone's day been so far? How are you, Aaron? So, again, my prediction is definitely going to be that it's, it's just between Team No and Rock Hoppers for me uh, to come third place in this tournament. And like I said, Team No are in the same pool as Rock Hoppers, so it's going to be decided early whether they come third, third or fourth. Obviously, it doesn't matter to Team No if they come third or fourth because they're not getting bonus points. However, if Team No can stop Rock Hoppers getting bonus points, it can keep Team No higher ranking for long. So it's in Tino's best interest to come third. He preferably first in this tournament, but third's the goal they want to mark. Because let's be honest, it's going to be very hard to beat RDK and the boss. We have the trophy behind me, which I'm sure you can see right there. There's the trophy. Nice marble bottom, Haddo London for the first tournament. And the first game is just getting ready. The teams are on the court putting the headsets on and getting ready for that first game. We have another stream going on. I'm going to make a video actually real quick guys, promoting our stream. So let's go onto the YouTube Shorts. Let's make a video. So guys, we are live again for the Southern Regional Tournament. First one of the year. Make sure you come over to our channel and click the live stream. We're going to do that again, guys. Ready? Let's get it one more time. So, guys, we are live with our first Southern Tournament of the year. Make sure you click the button, subscribe. I messed up again. All right, one more time, guys. This is going to be the final one. Let's see if we can do it. So, guys, we're here for the first Southern Regional Tournament of the year. Make sure you come along and watch. Hope you guys enjoy. There we go. I'm going to title it now. First, come along and watch. The game is going to start any second now.
and the short has been uploaded. Here we are, guys. This players just getting the headsets in. Uh, we're going to have a bit of a technical difficulty here. The last markers are a bit high up, but that will get fixed very, very soon. Right, so, here we have that's the first game. A guard in the front going for a very interesting tactic of look at me. This is their first ever tournament versus Team No, and Team No have got the first point on the board. Team No have got the second point on the board. They're going for a bit of a shield strategy. Person out of the back there, not shooting much, needs to be doing a bit more movement. Team No, again, showing why they are a good team. Can they win their first game of the tournament? This is the best of three today, guys. So, best of three, so obviously you want to be winning as many games as you can in the early stages so you can conserve your energies for the finals and the semi-finals where it matters the most. 11 points for the team no. Team no really showing why experience does matter in this tournament. Good movement there from Lucas on that corner. They really need to start shooting Lucas to just let him do what he wants to do. Lucas getting points. So it's really, really good head movement. Really, really, really good head movement. Again, the guy on the red team for the red hats needs to step back a bit, needs to move back because he's just conceding loads and loads of points against Team No. Twenty one points to Team No, four points to the Red Hats. It's gonna be a very, very strong game. Hard game. Again some weird distraction movements there from the Red Hats. We're now gonna go back to my lovely face while we wait for them to get ready for the second game out of the series best of three. Right, so, player, I'm going to go over the stats now. 84% accuracy from player two. I believe player two was, I'm going to say Lucas. 84% accuracy is really, really good. 38 bullet used on two charge, just right in the money. Only moved 29 meters, but obviously he didn't have to because he didn't. He wasn't getting focused enough, which wasn't his fault. All right. Hello, Growly Bear, how are you? Hey, I can't see that full comment. Let's see if we stretch it out a bit. Two sets, guys. Just getting, getting itself. Can see the chat there. So, there will not be a public picture on this, but I can go through the games now as we speak. Right, so, the first games are against... In pool A, the first games are Team No versus Red Hats. Again, in pool A, Red Hoppers... Rock opens versus Golden Stars. Again, Pool A, the boss versus Team No. So they are the teams in Pool A. The teams in Pool B are RDK, Ben, Sam and Blitz, Team Techno, and Jan, and Mystical Legends. The teams are just getting ready here. Jim giving them some advice. It's their first tournament, so they do need the advice. They do need the help because... Well, drop this, the first time ever playing today and they're going straight into the deep end against one of the best teams in the world. So you've got to be on it, you've got to be trying and you've got to win. And you see there, I believe that might be Alfie practicing his movements on the floor, getting ready for some dodging. And Tuck's going to play some four play, which is good against the newer teams because they don't know how to act against them. So that guy at the front in the red hats, he's going for more distraction role, not trying to get kills, just trying to distract them, but again, in a nice possible way, not doing a very good job because it's his first time player. Again, in a second, you're see Paris playing, when Paris plays, he's going to do pretty well, because Paris is a professional dodger. So he's going to, so the game has started, this guy at the front is going to try and do what Paris does, just he's his first time playing, so he doesn't know what he's doing very well. Almost playing a Shamar role as well. Shamar does that a lot, goes on the front lines, he does a lot of movement, just takes distraction off and lets teammates snipe out. It's not working too well for them as they are struggling a bit. However, it's the first time they're just here for fun and here to have fun and get some points on the board, hopefully. Team No have the first 10 points. 45 seconds in, and Team No have the 10 points. Really, really good movement from Team No. Again, Gen White experience does really matter in these types of tournaments. Showing that hello sport where you, you can't just jump in and be good, you have to practice. Just like any other sport in the world, you have to practice. If you don't practice, you won't do well.
20 seconds left to go. 20 seconds left to go, and Team Noah have got 20 points already. Let's see if they can get to 25 points, see if they can get the most points this tournament. A lot of teams are going to have a high scoring points this tournament because, again, a lot of teams first time playing, so the more experienced teams are going to show no mercy and are going to show why they are the best teams in Europe, in England. Look about 16, player two again getting 16 kills and one death. That's a brilliant result from, I believe that is player, uh, I believe that is Alfie on Team No. Brilliant result for Alfie. Really good start there for Team No. They have won the set. And I'm back. Let's see what the scoreboard was for that one. That's a really, really good game there from Team No. Uh, two seconds. I was just doing quick maths. 24 to four, three. Well, right, guys, there we are. The scores are in. So now it's 24 to three. We're going to go to the next teams because Team No have won the series. Well, shared fixture. Thank you, uh, AR Sports. I didn't know if it was getting shared or not. Uh, but thank you for letting me know that it has been shared so when people ask me to tell them I appreciate that Alright, so here we have Watch out Tom, watch the table Go watch out, watch the table Tom You don't want to knock stuff over to be live now right, So I believe in the next game we have coming up it's going to be Pool B and it will be RDK vs Mystical Legends I believe I don't know, it could be another Pool A game but I believe we're going to go Pool A, Pool B, Pool A, Pool B Let's see if I'm right yeah, it's RDK vs Mystical Legends. It's Mystical Legends first ever tournament as well. It's two brothers and a mum playing. RDK, uh, again, favourites to win this tournament. Tom! Tom! I need Tom to come back here. I was about to ask Tom a question. Before you go, who's winning out of Mystical Legends in RDK? You don't need to ask that. Alright, so what is your score predictions for the game? 32 to what? No. 32 nil to the IDK is Tom's predictions. Let's see if you can get that right. Have fun, Tom. Tom is one of the oldest players, so if he's predicting 32 nil, it's a pretty good prediction because he is again one of the oldest players in England. You have me there, go and watch the table because we've got some stuff on the table here and if we're not careful, we'll knock it off. We don't want to knock it off because that will cause the cameras to cut out and we don't really want that. So we just have to be careful because before the stream started, I made the mistake of knocking it over and knocking all the cameras out. Knocking all the cameras out of position. I can't see that chat. Let me just get uh, uh, the YouTube chat up on my phone real quick, guys, so I can see the chat better. Yeah, our teams are just getting the headsets on here. Mystical Legend is first time playing. I believe Jim is just fixing the lanyard. I'm waiting for the chat to load, see if I can see what's going on in the chat. I believe that's Harley. Event is massing. Did Synergy go to tournament? Synergy have not gone to tournament. Synergy are still in Coventry. Um, hence why I'm here. How are you doing, Massin? Massin is part of T Wolves. Massin's a very good player. Very, very good player. So, my predictions are Team RDK are going to play for their KD, see if they can stay alive. And uh, last tournament, Paris did a thing where every time he got knocked out, he had to do 10 press ups. So, I don't know if he's doing it this tournament, but if he is, I imagine he's going to try his hardest not to get knocked out this tournament. I respect you, Ben. Thank you, Masson. Thank you. So, again, like I said, Team Mystical Legends is a mother and two brothers on the same team playing against RDK, arguably the best team in Europe. It's their first ever tournament and their first ever time playing, so this is going to be a very, very interesting game. How's everyone's day been in the chat? Has, ever, has anyone been watching any Haddo tournaments from the past to see what other teams are doing? And Massin, why aren't T Wolves here today? T Wolves usually go to most tournaments, so why aren't T Wolves made an appearance in this tournament? 
Oh, and at the end of the day as well, guys, I'm going to ask Paris to on me again because I won one them before and I got beat, but I want to see if I can do any better than I did last time. Whether I can or not is a weird question. I don't really know how to answer it because it was only a week ago and he beat me 4-0 and I don't think he was trying that hard. But my goal is to get one point off. If I get one point, I've got better. That's the goal. Maybe one day I'll win. I need to win. I need to beat Ash in a 1v1 as well. I'm going to make some videos on Ash and me 1v1ing. Teams are just getting their kit on. Jimmy's just fixing a line over problem for one of the team members on Mystical Legends. Believe it's fixed it. They're going to put the stats in now and they're going to start very, very soon. I'd okay already. Uh, I believe we're just getting a bit of a reset here. Yeah, we're just getting a reset. I believe the stuff wasn't working. There we are. It's all being reset. Should be working any second now. Hello, Tom. Let's see if your predictions are right for this game. What? Let's see if your predictions are right for this game. It's going to be a very hard game for Mystical Legends, but I reckon they can get a point. You don't seem to think they can get a point. I think they're going to get a point. Personally. They need to watch out for Milo. Pardon? They need to watch out for Milo. Milo is arguably one of the best players in the country, isn't he? I do think Milo is arguably the best player in Europe. In Europe? I think Paris will give him a good fight for He's a member of RDK and the boss are catching him up very quick. The boss are getting so much better. I feel like the boss are going to take him down today. I don't think they are. Okay, the boss are going to take him down game has started. Mystical Legends versus RDK. Let's see if Mystical Legends can put up a fight or if RDK will just barrel roll through them. Right, first point on the board for RDK. Mystical Legends do some good movement for first time players. I've been training them up two days before the tournament started. RDK showing no mercy. Which you don't want to show in tournaments because again points, the amount of points you get in the games do affect it. So you want to get as many points in one game as you can get. Told them to get 32 points. 32 points, okay, let's see if they get 32 points. It is 40 seconds in, and RDK have got 10 points. Good movement though from Mystical Legends, they are doing well. Mystical Legends are doing really well. They're not shooting back though, Mystical Legends do need to shoot back. They need to get that charge and shoot back. They nearly got a point there on, I believe that was Paris. No, it wasn't Paris, it was Milo they nearly got a point on. Really good movement there from Mystical legends again you gotta remember it's their first time playing so their movement is really really good for first timers getting a bit angry in the front line sorry about the loud noise there guys good accuracy there player two players on mr legends are, are yet to get a point on good movement now on the front lines going up and down listen to what i've been teaching you throughout the day he's they're not really focusing him though because they know he's the hardest one to hit he the, but guy in the white shirt is very, very good, very hard to hit. 29 points for RDK, brilliant first game for IDK. Well, I'm just putting the points in the board, guys. You can have a look at the stats. Again, I imagine the stats are going to be pretty impressive. Let's see what the stats are. Yeah, 6 percent accuracy, really good stuff, guys. 13 KOs. Right, I believe our next game is going to be... Let's see what our next game's going to be. I'm just getting a sheet list of guys to see who it's going to be. The next game is going to be... Rock Hoppers vs Golden Stars. This is Golden Stars' first ever tournament along with Rock Hoppers, who are seasoned professionals at Haddo, as we all know. However, the series is not over yet. Oh, okay, I do have one more game to play before the Rock Hoppers and the Golden Stars play. They're just getting their headsets and that on now. I'll let you guys see what's going on behind the scenes now.
Mystical Legends getting some tactical advice from Jim and other people. I believe the dad is going to step in now. It's going to be the dad and the two brothers playing. It's going to be a really, really, really interesting game here. Whether Mystical Legends change any tactics up or keep it the same, we'll find out. They are a new team, so they are going to struggle tactically wise. However, I believe they can get at least a couple points off RDK because it's not impossible, you know what I mean? It's not impossible to get points off RDK. I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me very well. There's a lot of people here, hence there's a lot of background noise and background audio. I'm hoping that I'm speaking loud enough for you guys to hear me okay. I'm not looking to the camera because I have to look at the mic and talk to the mic so you guys hear me even better and even more clearly. So yeah. Good movement though from Mystical Legends. It's first ever tournament and they have really got the up, down, left, backwards, down, right movement on for their first ever game. Let's see if they get more shots out because their downfall last time was the lack of shooting and the lack of pressure they put on RDK. If you can put pressure on RDK, they'll shoot less, which means you die less, you get knocked out less, the less points your team to concede. The more pressure you put a team under, the harder it is them to get points on you because they have to worry about dodging and a bunch of other things to take into account. Good movement there from Mystical Legends. He needs to keep his elbow when he's charging. I notice he's not charging his elbow's a bit like that. You want to keep elbow in at all times for charging Haddo. Haddo is a competitive sport, hence why if it's your first time playing you are going to struggle. I know I keep saying it, but it is definitely one of the most competitive sports I've ever played, ever seen. Because uh, I'm going to compare it to football here. Football, anyone can kick a ball as hard as they can and it might go in a net. In Haddo, if you don't know what you're doing, you're not going to do well at all. I don't even know if you can play well at all, you know? Whereas in football, if you don't know what you're doing, you know you have to kick a ball in a certain way. You can still do it and still hope it goes somewhere. Haddo, there is no luck involved. You have to be skillful. It's all about how much you train and how skillful you are, which is why it's so impressive when you see teams who are really good at the game because you know how good they are. You know how much time they're putting. So it's a really, 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 really hard sport to get into. Well, not hard sport to get into, hard sport to... Once you get it, it's easy. What the word I'm trying to find is it's a hard sport to go to the next level in. It's good to the point where you get to a level of everyone else, catch up quite easy. There's a barrier, which you see with RDK and Synergy. Synergy are an amazing team. Now, the RDK are just leagues above them. And that's the, that little gap there is where it's hard. The skill gap is very similar until you get to a certain point. Then it goes from one level to another level to another level. And it just gets even more. For example, RDK, they're the best team in Europe. But you compare to Japanese teams, and they're around the same level, if not slightly below the level of Japanese teams. Because Japan's teams are just on another level. However, I do think that RDK or even the boss at one point are going to defeat a Japanese team in even the World Cup maybe give a little shot because they train many hours. The game is going to start in any second. They're just pressing the green buttons to log in. Game is starting now. Interesting stats. No one has gone shields on either team. No points in the first 10 seconds. They, they've got a point. Mystical Legends have got their first ever tournament point. And it's again, it's one of the best teams in Europe. Brilliant from Mystical Legends. Let's see how RDK respond to Mystical Legends getting a point off the bat. Bit of life marker issues here. There's one life marker on the floor. Oh, it's because his headset fell off. Put his headset back on there, uh, hope he's okay. So they've got actually, someone has got shields. Player six has gone two shields, which is an interesting tactic. Not many players do go two shields. We might have a replay of this game here. I don't know what's gone on because his headset has fell off. 16 to 1, 17, 18 to 1, 2 the RDK. Let's see how they do.
23-2-2. Quite impressive score. Not as good as last time. Missed all legends. They have got two points on the board, which is so, so good. Since it's their first ever tournament. So really good stuff from Mystical Legends and obviously RDK being RDK, one of the best teams in Europe, have done really well. Already shown improvement after two games, they've literally quadrupled their score, so they've done really well. Now it's going to be Rock Hoppers versus Golden Stars in the next game of the tournament. I'll let you guys look at the stats for a bit. So guys, I'm back. Again, a really dominant performance from Okay, I believe we might have a broken headset here. That was a good, good first game there from Mystical Legend. It's their first ever tournament setting and they're playing one of the best teams, so they've done really, really well. Can't stress how impressive it is they've got two KOs. It's really, really good. 81 meter moved as well, and most in the distance is on the blue team. So again, even just as good. Rock ups first golden boots. I'll see if I get someone over here for an interview. Um, preferably someone from Ardegate or my school legends as it's the first ever tournament set. So the next game is like I said, Rock Hoppers and Golden Stars. Again, Golden Stars first ever game against a really seasoned team in the Rock Hoppers. Rock Hoppers are a really good team here. And their biggest rivals here, I believe, are going to be Team No. I believe the Rock Hoppers versus Team No game is going to be really, really, really good. Just waiting for the teams to get ready, get their edits on, and the game to get started, and then we'll get you onto the screen. I've trained all these new teams up today, and. So it's literally their first ever time playing and I've been training them up to get them to do well. So I'm really hoping these teams can start doing well. Now I believe this team is a mum, a sister and a brother. I could be wrong, I could I don't know, but I believe it is a mum, a sister and a brother on a team. It's in a lot of family teams. The Rock Hoppers. Um, I don't know too much about the Rock Hoppers actually. So it's quite interesting. It's, I've not seen them before, I've not seen them play, so all I know is they're a really good team, they're a very old team, and yeah, I know they give Synergy a run for their money, which is what I've been told, so. <laughs> Bless me, sorry about that guys. I tried holding the sneeze in, but I could not hold the sneeze in. I'll put you guys on the screen, you can see the team's getting ready now, just... Rock Hopper's giving them a bit of a stare down actually, maybe it's that an intimidation tactic or they're just at the front lines just chilling. Good afternoon Marie, how are you? Oh sorry, the Grange Live TV, how are you? Are you enjoying the sunny weather we have in England for once? Because it's actually sunny for the first time ever. Actually, have a nice scenic view behind me. You can see those windows there. There is people playing golf and just whacking balls. So right behind me, I've got a really nice view of golf balls just going absolutely flying. It's a weird question, guys. But while we're waiting for teams to get ready, what is everyone's favourite pizza toppings? What If you had to put one thing on a pizza, what would it be? For me, my favourite two, te it can only be two, my favourite two pizza toppings, sweet corn and onion. I love sweet corn and onion on pizza. My go-to pizza all the time is that. We have teams getting ready here, they're looking like they're all nearly ready, only two more players on the blue team to get their headsets and that on and then we'll go straight into the game. And if you guys are new here, Hado is a very competitive techni technical eSport. It is the world's first AR sport, and, or world's first techno sport. It's played in 48 different countries. Uh, yeah, 
England was, I believe, the third or second country to have had her. And we are training. We have multiple arenas based around the country in England. So this is all up in Haddo UK. Choose the closest arena to you. Come down, play and have some fun. There are, I believe the teams are nearly all ready. One more person on the blue team needs to log in and then it will all be said and done and ready. There we are, all teams ready. I believe the game will be starting any second now. Let's see how the Rock Hoppers do against Team Golden Star. The Rock Hoppers do have a sub in today from a player from the boss. So we'll see how that goes and works out for the Rock Hoppers. If that affects them in any way, if it improves them in any way, or if the boss suffer from missing a player in any way. I imagine they won't because they're professional teams, but you never know. Just fix your player's headset here and then we'll get in. One player on the rock up headset is not bonding in the back room. Just getting the headset in. Nearly there, guys. Nearly there. I'll give you guys the screen so you guys can see what is going on and how everything is happening. Hello from Russia, how are you guys? We are based in Haddo, England. So if you are from Russia, sorry, if you do not know what's going on here, Haddo is an AR sport where you throw energy balls inspired from Dragon Ball Z at each other, hence Haddo, Hadoken. Right, so we have had the rock, I believe it is, the newest team has gone Shields. Let's see how the Golden Stars do against such an experienced team like the Rock Hoppers. Let's see who gets the first point on the board. First point is always the most important, important, most important point of the tournament. And it's gone to the Rock Hoppers. Let's see if the Golden Stars can get a point on. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, so, I can't see what's going on right now. Uh, Alright, so... Rockets have only got three points. So team Golden Stars are using uh, their shields really well for a first half team. Really good shield there again. Really good stuff from Team Golden Stars. They don't all be on, be on that shield though because all their focus is going to the shields. They need to spread out a bit. Don't stick together so much and move around a bit more. Go to front lines, put a bit of pressure on these rock hoppers. Rock Hoppers putting in a really dominant performance here against actually quite a good, impressive first time playing team. So, really well done here from Rock Hoppers. Sixteen zero to the Rock Hoppers. Let's see if Team Golden Stars can get a point on the board for the next game. See Jim there giving some tactics to the blue team, seeing if they can get some help and get some points on the board. Let's go back to my beautiful face. How are you guys? How are you all doing? Gonna have some water here because I am quite quenched. There we are. 16 and 02 for Rock Hoppers. Brilliant performance there from them. Again, my first time seeing them play, so that was quite an impressive performance there from them. I'm, I'm looking forward to the boss and the Rock Hoppers game. I feel like they're going to be two very tightly matched teams and the Rock Hoppers and Team No. Now the game of the tournament, I reckon, is going to be RDK versus the Boss. Two very, 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 very good teams. I can't wait to see that game. If the Boss can maybe sneak a win out or if RDK can beat the Boss. Two very equally matched teams, in my opinion. The Boss are catching RDK up, in my opinion, as well. The improvement I saw from my first time being here, so I started working at Haddo four months ago. And my first tournament, I saw the boss versus RDK, and there was definitely a big skill gap. Now, the skill gap is closing really, really quick, and I think the boss are doing really, really well. Mm. 
Hello from Co Hello Haddo Korea. How are you guys? We enjoy the matches. I'm glad you're enjoying the matches. How is Haddo going in Korea? I've been watching some of your guys' YouTube videos and the content is really, really, really good. Really enjoying it. Teams are just getting ready here. Hope you have uh, Devin giving the Golden Stars some advice on how to do because again it's their first tournament I've been training them today literally less than two hours ago I was training this team and showing them how to play Haddo and now we're playing one of the best teams in Europe so that's just how Haddo works it's really really good really inclusive sport anyone can play anyone everyone can have fun everyone has, always has a good time the atmosphere is amazing it's a really good environment to be in We are in London for this tournament as well. This is the first Southern Regional Tournament of the year. Hopefully a couple more to come along with some local tournaments. The golf ball has just gone absolutely flying. Nearly hit the window. Made me blink a bit. <laughs> I'll put on the screen where the teams are getting ready now so you guys can see what's going on. See Jim there just helping them get ready, taking our phone off and just getting it logged back in so the teams can get playing. Let's see if the Golden Stars can get a point on the Rock Hoppers this time round. Just looking here, I'm trying to figure out what stats are going to fly on a bit quiet. It looks like the Rock Hoppers are going for high speed bullets, maybe 5 3 or 5 2 2, even 4 3. 2-2 two, two, or 4-2-3 four, two, looking that's what it's looking like from one of the Rock Hoppers players just trying to figure out what they've gone one Stephanie gone five no four four stats there trying to see how they're playing it whether they're going for the kill or they're going to try and play defensively which they won't need to necessarily because the Golden Stars are a fairly new team to Haddo So hopefully this time the Golden Stars don't stick together as much, they split up a bit and make it harder for the Rock Hoppers to get some points because that game they did stick together loads and it made it a lot easier for the Rock Hoppers to do where they get the points off them. In Haddo, obviously getting points is important but the most important part of Haddo is not getting picked and they let Rock Hoppers hit them. Yeah. They stuck together and made it easy for Rock Hoppers to hit them so this time they got a split apart and hopefully make it a bit harder for the Rock Hoppers to gain points on them. looking like we're ready so I'm going to switch screens now guys and the game should be starting soon the blue team has gone two shield players now this will be interesting let's see how the rock uppers handle the shields just had uh, Devin come take a photo of me there how many have we got we have got eight viewers Eight yes. so far. Do you want to come and say hi? Sorry? Do you want to come and sit down and say hi for a bit? Come on. All you got to do is say hello. So, hi what's, guys. It like, what's it like running Haddo London? Absolutely amazing. Yeah, uh, really, really good. Um, just glad. So, so yeah, big turnout. Um, everyone's having fun. Uh, that's the main thing. And we're, we're getting London moving. So, thank you. Thanks very much, Ben, for streaming this as well. No worries. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Have fun. Thank you. So, Rock Hoppers have got 10 points on the board. Let's see how Team Golden Stars can do with these shields. Rock Hoppers putting in a more dominant performance than last time. They've obviously learned what's that to do against this team, and they've gone them, and they are actually putting in a better performance than they did last game. Just showing the levels of experience. Really good movement here from the Rock Hoppers. Team Golden Stars not really shooting back in. He's put Rock Hoppers under a bit of pressure. Right, guys. That 
was another exact same scoreline from the Rock Hoppers. However, I felt they were slightly more dominant in that game than the last game, even though it was the same scoreline. I felt like they just had it under control more and put Golden Stars even under more pressure than last time. Since you now double the shields and the scoreline was the same, it shows how much pressure they actually did put them under. Our next game is going to be in Pool B, and it's going to be... Or oh, it's going to be an interesting... No, Pool A, sorry. Pool B, sorry. It's going to be Ben, Sam and Blitz versus Team Jan. It's going to be a very, very interesting game. Two teams, both teams are new, so it's going to go either way. It could probably going to go to the best of three because both teams are brand new to the sport of Haddo. So let's see how it goes. Now when the teams do come on, I'm not going to know who is who because I don't know what they call themselves. So I'll be saying red and blue teams at the minute because they are two literally made two-day teams. So, yeah. Guys, can you put your predictions for this tournament in the comments? Let me know who you think is going to win. Let me know who you think is going to come second. Let me know who you think is going to come third. And let me know why that's going to happen. Let's see if we can get talking about the predictions, see who can get predictions right. My predictions are we could see a potential upset here between the boss and RDK. I reckon that boss could maybe take two games off them and even win the tournament. Let's see how it goes. Jim, would you have a minute to do a second interview? Uh, very, very quick, because we're trying to keep the teams going. Very, very so quick. So we've got obviously uh, a really big range of teams playing here today. Uh, both very experienced teams from, uh, from the Brighton courts. Uh, for Haddo London, they're, they're very new as a, as a Haddo location. Made today. Um, well, no, it's, it's their first, first ever tournament. The, the location is going a lot more than that. Uh, so they've got five teams playing for Haddo London, which is brilliant for, for, a, uh, for a young court. But for all of their teams, it's their first, it's their first yeah. tournament experience. They're very inexperienced. So we've got a big, big experience range across the matches. So we're going to see, unfortunately, some um, sort of really high scoring matches with the more experienced versus less experienced teams. But hopefully what we'll see is what we normally do is those less experienced teams will start to improve match on match. Yeah. Uh, and we'll start to see, especially between the London teams, some really good gameplay coming well, through. You saw that in the first match where in the second match actually got two points off RDK. Exactly, so that was really good. But I'm going to have to go back and forth. No worries. Enjoy. So guys, that is Jim. Jim is a legend. And me and him will be doing some more streams together throughout the year. You're going to be seeing a lot more of both of us on this channel, hopefully growing it and showing everyone why Halo is an amazing sport to play. I'm just back on the court now, I'll show you guys. Just everyone's getting the kits ready. There you have the br two brand new teams playing their first ever tournament today. Again, two new teams, so it's going to be really, really, really interesting. And on the blue team, we actually have an American player. And I know he's ever had a Miami, but this is the first time I'll ever see an American player play, so it's going to be really interesting. Obviously, he lives in England, I'm assuming, so he's, but he's technically American. So, yeah, let's see how he plays, how he does. Not any different to anyone else, it's just it's the first time I've seen an American play Haddo. Let's see how it goes. I'll actually, actually, I'll tell you a lie, I've not seen it, I play, you can, Haddo, you can play from people anywhere in the world, so I actually played against the team in Miami uh, a couple months back, and that was really interesting, obviously I didn't see what they were moving, how they are moving like, I just saw the life marker, but I've actually played against them once or twice, so that was quite interesting, and they did beat me, very good player, so yeah, let's see how this goes. Just resetting the headsets, getting everything ready for this next game. Hello? After this game. So after this game we have... So this team is Ben, Sammy and Blitz versus Jan. And in the next game, it will be the Boss versus Team No, which is a really, really big game. So guys, that was just someone asking about what games we have next so we can tell everyone how to play and when to play. Teams are looking like they're ready, so I'm actually going to be starting soon, so I'm just going to transition over. Oh, 
Ah, sorry guys, sorry about that. Our first second in, 10 seconds in, no one's got a point. First point has gone to the red team. Brilliant movement there, actually brilliant shot from that red team player. Really good down and upwards movement from him on the front lines, taking a lot of distraction away. Big, big variant in height and age on that red team there. Not a very young player with a very tall player as well. So the height difference is, as you can see, quite big. Let's see if the taller player can use his height to advantage, move around and just put blue team under pressure. Good shields there from the blue team. Again, showing two new teams here putting up a really good fight. It's really interesting to watch and see what's going on. I want to see if I get Team No over in a second to do an interview before their game with the boss. Or even someone from the boss. To come and do an interview. Eleven, two, one, ten seconds left to go in this match. Let's see if the blue team can start pulling it back or whether it's going to go to the next game and they have to do quite a major comeback because it's been quite a different show in skill levels. That player on the front line to the red team really sh really pulling his weight actually, really helping. So that was that game. That first game was 13-2. I'm, I'm imagining the teams that was going to... Um, I actually need to find out which team is which because I don't really know. Actually, no, I do know, so let me just find out. Red team. Yeah, okay, I got it correct. Alright, so guys, again, that was a good match. We're going to go into the second match now, best of three, like I said last time, and we're going to see how, well, how it goes because, again, I'm, I don't really know what to say because these teams are so new. I don't have much information on them, I don't know what to say, what their strengths and weaknesses are and stuff like that. So it's quite interesting for me to watch these teams and see how the new teams really play out and hopefully improve throughout the tournament. It's going to be quite an interesting one to watch and learn. Uh, just watching the golf, they've got machines going around picking the balls up and it's really fun to watch, really uh, satisfying. Now, a member here from Team Techno, would you like to do an interview? Yeah. Watch the table, watch the table. All right, so. Predictions for this game. Who's going to win, the red or the blue team? What, depending on what teams are they. This is Blammy. Blammy? I think the red team is going to win, probably. Red team? The person at the front right there looks kind of good. Okay, okay. We'll see if that prediction's right. Good luck for your next games. Good luck. We'll probably... I'm not even in the next game. Because our stats of the years, the only competition is IDK. We're going to lose against them. So you might as well just uh, put me in on all the other teams because we've got guaranteed winning to the same teams. So, watch table, watch table. So, Alright, the game has started, let's see what happens. Alright, let's see which team gets the first point on the board. Red team has got the first point on the I board. Can you. blue team answer back? Can a blue team answer back straight away? Blue team have answered back. It is 1 1. Blue team putting up a much better fight already. 2 1 to blue team. Blue team are actually winning. We'll just go to the game. Best of three. Really good movement there from the blue team. Red team clawing back though. Blue team have to keep putting the pressure on like they did at the start there. Really good from the blue team. Blue team have got that first point on the board. Again, it's 2-3 to the blue team. Should put more pressure on them. A lot of the blue team players though are on one last mark. And the red team just like that have gained three points. Uh, two points ahead of the blue team. Can the blue point answer back and come back? 5-4 blue team have got the next point on the board. Can the blue team make you. it 5-5? It is 5-5. The blue team have came back. Red team have got another point on the board. It is 6-5 to the red team. Can the blue team start going back? See that person back? pushing at the front is quite good. It is 7-5 8-5. Red team are really pushed forward now. Blue team have answered back straight away though. It is 8-7. Can the blue team get that next point on the board to make it even closer? 9-7 to the red team. Can the blue team answer back? They keep answering back. It is only one point in this game with 15 seconds left to go. No, they can't make it. In that they can time. make it. Watch the table, don't wobble the table. Look, four kills. 13, can they do it? Uh, it's looking like red team are going to take this game again. However, this game was so much closer and the blue team have really improved from their first game. Really good stuff there from the, both teams. Uh, our next game is going to be the boss versus team no. Now this game here, been an amazing game. So team No have potential to beat the boss. So let's see if Team No can actually beat the boss, or whether the boss will show Team No that yeah. level. That boss are going to win absolutely. Two seconds. Two seconds. See if Team No 
can pull it back or the boss just show why there is that big skill jump and gap in between certain teams. Yes, and have a lot of skill to be honest. Yeah, well, Team No have a lot of skill. Team No do have potential to do it. Team No are such a good team. One of the best Midlands teams. Yeah, but not one of the best in the UK. Doesn't matter. They have potential. They could do it. Any team could lose. They can't really get to fight in one loses. They can't win against... Yeah, you can't forget fighting mongooses are one of the best teams as well. Yeah, if they can't win against them, there's no way they can win against the boss. But look at T-Wolves. T-Wolves lost against fighting mongooses, but then beat a bunch of other teams. Yeah, but some of those teams... Fighting mongooses are one of the best teams and the older teams. They've got so much experience. But it's very, very, very impressive to beat the mongooses. You've got to be a very good team to do it. Well, you've got to be a very, very good team to beat IDK. Yeah, but um, Team No are a very, very good team. I'm not saying they're going to beat them then there's a chance. Yeah. There's always a chance. You guys could beat RDK. You could. You could. That's why I didn't go in this game, the game that I'm playing against RDK. You could go in. You could play. You could no, win. No, because I'm, I'm playing against all the fucking teams. If we win against three of the fucking teams, we're very guaranteed. So, I just want to guarantee us a spot. Doesn't matter if we win or lose. Okay. Can you go and get a member from the boss? I want to interview a member from the boss. Actually no, the boss are getting ready to play, so don't. Here we have Jim. So Team No versus the boss is a big game in this tournament. It could decide second place, even first, if the boss beat RDK. This tournament does have anything. Again, Team No, I can't stress enough how much they've improved. And all it takes is one bad game for, for Team No to win. Uh, it is a feat because the boss are such a good team. I doubt Team No will win. However, there's a chance. And it could shake the tournament up a bit, it could differentiate the tournament, if that makes sense. Because anything can happen in Haddo. All it takes is one mistake. But for me, I don't know if I said it before I said it again, my favourite team is T-Wolves. And then, I just, I don't know, I always love an underdog, which is why I love teams like the boss, where they're not expected to win, but they could win. Against teams like RDK, I should say, sorry. Because the boss win against... Pretty much every other team in England, apart from RDK, and they still get gains off RDK. They were Team Synergy. I reckon they're going to make a resurgence. They've been, they've been slacking a bit, uh, not putting as much training as they usually would. However, I have a feeling that Team Synergy are going to come from the woodworks and really start just pumping away at games. Does that make sense? Just take chipping away, training and improving and going for that number one spot maybe. Steam Synergy have potential if they train more because they are one of the best teams in England and they don't train much. So two shields there from the blue team. Team No have gone two shields against the boss. Let's see how Team No do. Good shields there, both good shields. Let's see if they get some points off the boss. They've got two shields, they can't let across shots go. They're using all their shields quite quick though, you don't want to do that. Don't want to use your shields quick. You want to conserve shields and take your time. So the boss will get those shields down. The boss are a good team. They are not take shields down. You don't want to stack shields. Really good movement there from the boss. Team knows taking their time. It's nil nil with a couple seconds into the game. Sorry, 40 seconds into the game. Team knows putting in pressure. And the boss have got a first point on the board. Can Timo answer back straight away? Timo have to answer back really because as soon as their shields are gone, they're going to struggle to get the points on the board. Good point. Timo have got a first point on the board. It's 1 1 with 30 seconds to go. Really good stuff here from Timo. Timo have got the next point on the board. It is 2 2 to the Timo and the boss. Timo needs to keep moving. Timo have to keep moving. The boss here showing again why they're such a good team experience. It is a close game and they're really, really showed experience. The boss have got the next two points on the board. The next point on the board, sorry. It is 5-2 to the boss. The boss are clawing away, taking away at this game. The boss have taken away from the game. 6-2. It looks like the boss have taken this game. Really solid performance from Team Low. However, the experience and longevity of the boss really showed there. As in the later stages of the game, they just went that extra mile. Really good stuff there from both teams. An excellent match. Probably match of the day so far. Go 
Not so, guys. That was a good game. Really impressive from both teams, showing how close your levels are getting now. I have a feeling the team now are going to change up tactics this time. Because if they go shields again, the boss will be expecting it and they will go hard charge and they will just get those shields down like that. They're going to have to change their tactics now. Maybe go all out attack and just put them under loads and loads of pressure. That's the, that, that's the plan now. They've got to do that. They can't go shields again. Let's see what goes. What, let's see what happens. Teams are getting ready here. Looking like teams are almost ready to play. Team No talking tactics. This is a big pressure game for Team No. I've said, do not win this game. The boss have taken the series, and Team No have lost their first game of the tournament. The boss are winning their. I believe it is their first game of the tournament as well. So it's a big game for both teams. Setting the tone for the whole of the tournament this game is here. Game is about to start, let's go over. No one has gone shields, it's an all out shootout. Let's see if the boss can do it. Timo are the underdogs going into this game, however, they are doing really, really well. Good movement there from Lucas on that back line, really impressive movement. Putting the boss under pressure. Oh, well, that bottom life marker there, and that bottom life marker is a hard life mark to go. Boss have got the first point on the board. Really important point there for the boss. Good shield there as well for the boss. The boss clawing away now. Team No need to answer back in these next couple seconds, otherwise, it's going to get away from them. Team No have answered back. It's 3 1. Can they get two points? Lucas needs to keep shooting. Lucas needs to keep the pressure on. Really good stuff. They've got another point yet. Is there still only three points in it? Is anyone's game? However, Team No needs to start putting it back now, otherwise the boss are just going to pull away from this game. Really good stuff here from the boss. Team No trying to keep up with them, struggling though. Team No are struggling to keep up. Really good stuff from Team Now. The boss have taken this game. However, that was a really good performance from Team Now. Really, really good stuff from both teams. Right, so I'll let you guys look at the stats for a second this game. Hopefully, when Jim comes over, I need, I'm going to go over and get something. Um, again, really impressive from both teams there. Really, 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 really impressive from both teams. However, the boss showing why they are such a good team. Such an impressive team uh, in Haddon. Uh, down there, so I'll, in a second, I'm going to get my back. Really good stuff there from Team No. A lot of power parents I see in the crowd. They might not want it, but they showed a lot of improvement from the last time they played them. Where they went triple shields and kind of conceded the loss straight away whereas that time they didn't go triple shields they went double shields and attack and it nearly worked out for them they did really well showing why you should always have confidence against good teams however the triple shield tactic can work it can work but it, it takes a lot of I can't I'm looking for a word I can't find it but not look if you go triple shields, you have to use them perfectly and you're going to have to get a lucky kill because your bullets are so slow and so small that you're not going to get many kills, if any. So it can work. You've just got to get very, 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 very lucky and hope that you catch someone off guard quick. going to wait here and see if I can get someone to cover the stream in one second. Teams are just getting ready. I'm going to say it again because I know I'll say it loud, but that performance from Team No was impressive. It was a really impressive performance. Uh, 
so I had to have a bit of a stretch there. I'm getting a bit tight. Uh, bit sorry, tight sitting here on the seats. Need to get up, have a stretch. Let's do a stand up for a bit because I can stand up. Got a bit of a standing up commentating view from now for me. I like this. Got a bit more energy. Can move around loads. So the teams are here, just getting ready now for the next game in the tournament. Let's see how they do. Again, so I believe this game now it is RDK versus Team Techno. Two teams from Brighton, two teams in Ocean are very well. Let's see if Team Techno can get a couple points off or if RDK can show again why they are the best team in Europe, arguably. It's waiting here, guys. Really, really, really impressive points last time. Run. Sorry, someone's there just asking for a charger. Teams are ready. Let's start the game. Team Techno have gone shield. Let's see if Team Techno can get that point on the board. The next point is the pivotal point of the game. Good shot there from Team RDK. Paris really keeping that person busy on Team Techno's team. Let's see how many performance. Let's see how much of a good performance RDK on Techno put in this one because both teams are immaculate teams. Both teams are brilliant teams. Team Techno here are real contenders for this tournament. You know, Team Techno are contenders. Very good players. Very good movement. You hear a lot of shouting in the background, everyone is tearing on for Team Techno. A lot of parents are here. Rather than cheering on to get Paris, however, Paris, if he doesn't want to be hit, he's not going to be hit. Therefore, I feel like Paris is just there to distract. You want to... Paris is just there to distract. You want to start... You don't want to focus, Paris. You want to focus Milo. Paris is there to take distraction off Milo and give, let Milo snipe in the back. You want to focus Milo. Don't let him get those shots off because Milo has one of the best aim if not the best aim in Europe. Eighteen to zero for the first game between RDK and Team Techno. I'm back, guys. That was a really good game from both teams. I know Scotland didn't say flatter it, but Team Techno held their own for quite a chunk of that game and did really, really well. So big up, Team Techno, and well done. Got to keep moving, guys. Got to keep moving. Got to keep active. Really impressive performance that from Team Techno. Both teams are getting ready for the second match. Will this game go to the best of three, or will it just stay to two games? Will I say win this next game? Let's go out okay, let's go. Watching it on a big, if you guys see me looking over there, because we've got a big TV, I'm just getting a better view of what's going on uh, on the court. Because I have a view looking at this banner here, and over there is a view looking at a blue banner. So I've got two different views, so I can get a better perspective and commentate better for you guys on this tournament. Again, this is the first Southern Regional Tournament of the year. Hopefully many more to come this year and let's see how it goes. London is a fairly new Halo venue. It's their first tournament and they're doing so well. Uh, it's really good, really, really, really good atmosphere. Yeah, everything's really, really good here. I like it, I like it a lot. Game is going to start now, let's go. Techno have on shields again. Good movement there from Techno. RDK have got the first point on the board. Good communication there from both teams. Good movement there on the front from... Who is that? That was really good movement there. I believe that might have been Milo on the front lines there. Putting in a lot of good movement. Looking to sell 5-0 to RDK. Team Techno doing better than it did last time. 
putting in a lot of work, standing behind that shield. The team of Techno have got the first point of their tournament. Let's go, Techno. Can Techno get another point, or will RDK start to run away with this one now? As soon as that shield goes down, Techno are going to have to start moving. That shield is giving them a lot of well, helping a lot. 2-7-2, two, two, te RDK. Techno have got a second point on the point. Techno have got another point on the board. 26 left in the game. Can Techno get another point? RDK have just got a fast two points. Techno are going to maybe get another point. Techno have got another point. It is 4 9 2 team to RDK. Techno are catching up. I don't think they're going to win. However, they're putting in a lot of. A heck of a performance. Better than last time. Really good stuff from Team Techno. And it's looking like it's going to finish 11 4 2 RDK. Really good performance from both teams. Our next game is between Team Golden Stars from Red Hat. So two new teams going up against each other. This will be interesting. Both teams are good. Both teams are brand new. Both teams, it's their first tournament. So let's see how they do. Really good match there from RDK and Techno. I'm going to take a seat in a second. But standing up, you know, get the blood flowing. Talk, a bit more energetic for you guys. Does it look okay? Does me standing up look good? Let me know in the chat. Jim? What? Okay, so we're just doing a bit of a kit swap now. So the next match will take a bit longer to go into. However, that was a really, really good performance from both teams. Really, really good performance from both teams. I'm going to have some cables now coming on to me. Swapping the kit out, getting it on charge, getting it ready. I'm going to move this chair forward so you can get past me. Again, really good performance there from Team Techno. Putting a really good show at the end there, getting four points on RDK is an impressive thing to do as it's hard, very hard to get that good performance on them. It's a really, really good stuff, Techno. So far, the tournament's been amazing. Really, really started off well. Every team is putting in a really good fight, and it's just a really, really interesting tournament. Love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Gold Stars and Red Hats are just getting on the kit now and getting ready for the game. Let's see how they do. I don't know, I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Both teams first ever tournament, so it's going to be an interesting play from both teams. I think play is the right word for the teams. Well done, Techno. Yes, indeed, well done, Techno. Really, really impressive tournament there. Tournament play, sorry. Or I'll say game, impressive game there from Techno. Not many teams will be able to do that and pull that off against RDK. It was definitely it was definitely Techno Shields which helped them get that many points on RDK. I know it's hard to do that, so really pop for them. I'm now looking forward to Techno versus Team No. I feel like Techno could get a game off Team No. That's gonna be hard, sorry. That's gonna be hard because Team No are a really good team. So let's see if Techno can do that. Alright you guys see the teams getting ready so you know what teams look like. It's Team Gold Stars on the red team and team uh, it is Team Red Hats on the blue team. Again, this tournament shape looks to be a really, 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 really good tournament here. Every team has came to play and every team is going to play. This is going to be a really, really interesting tournament. Lots of different teams are going to win, lots of different teams are going to lose. See if we have any major upsets or if it, anything happens as it should. Teams here just getting ready, team giving them some extra tips. Team Gold Stars getting ready. I wonder what stats, I wonder if anyone's going to have shields, it's going to be a straight shootout for the first game on the tournament. 
I need to get someone over to stream an interview. I'm going to try and get someone over to an interview because I feel like that always lightens the stream up when we get people over for different interviews. I to feel an extra face makes it seem more atmospheric. If that's the right word to use. So I'll see if I can get someone over now. Uh, do you want to come and do an interview? Yeah, we're okay. Do you want to come on? Okay. Let's come on stream in two minutes. Just going to sort around and get stuff around. This is another owner of Hello London. So we'll see what she has to say about how the talk's going. It's just impressed me what the teams are doing. Let's see what's going to happen. All teams are getting ready now. Look like the game is going to start soon, so we might have to wait for the interview. So both teams here just taking the time. Choosing the stats wisely these teams are. Because again, both teams are playing their first time, so I don't know what the other team's gonna do, I don't know the other team's habits, they don't need anything. So they're just looking, learning and choosing the best stats to go against a new team which I haven't played before. Good team talk there from the one team. We got Devon taking a picture. Getting a team photo of the two teams. Really good stuff here. You see amazing atmosphere, loads of people here. All the people sat on the chairs, loads of food. We've got a bar here, we've got loads of good stuff here. An amazing venue for Haddo London. All right, the game is starting now, let's see what happens. Red team has gone all shields, it's gonna be a really interesting game. Red team doing really, really well here. Really good use of the shields. Now we just need to get the shots off. See if we can get any kills, they have all gone shields, therefore. It's gonna be hard for them all to get points. But Again, if you all go shields, you've got no attacking threat, therefore you can't get many points. And the most important part of Halo is, yes, staying alive, but also getting points. If you don't get points, you can't win. Blue team dealing with shields well. Red team needs to start putting their shields up quicker. Yeah, they are a good shield there from the red team. Blue team have five points on the board. Red team really need to get a point on the board, otherwise this game is lost. They are red team have got their first point on the board. Let's see if they get another one. Red team have got two points on the board, so they're creeping back up. Really good performance here from both teams. Both teams just taking their time. It's looking like red, red team are going to lose this game and blue team are going to take the game for the first game of their series. Let's see how the second game goes. Two sets guys, just sorting some stuff out. Our first game goes 2-9-2 two, two with Red Hats. Let's see if the Red Hats can repeat that or Team Golden Stars will make a comeback and take it to the game of best of three. We've not had a best of three game series this tournament yet, so let's see if we can have the first one happen right here and right now. See if I get someone here to come do an interview. See if I get here someone do an interview. Because again, I've said before, interviews make it really good. Let's see if I can get. She can do an interview or see if I can get him to come. Doesn't look like he wants to do one. Maybe next time. Okay, he's just seating after finishing eating. Hopefully, he comes over and we get another interview. Give his predictions for the tournament because I reckon his predictions will be an interesting prediction.
Looks like both teams are getting ready, putting their stats in. Pretty important there from all teams. Both, all teams just need to keep it up, keep doing what they're doing, and it's going to be a really good tournament. Sets, guys. Both teams are ready, so it looks like the game will be starting any second now. All right, so both teams are ready. Both teams are getting ready. It looks like they are ready, so I'm gonna one more login. I can't. Ah, oh, it's in a corner. It's gonna start on match two, so I'm gonna start the transition over now. No teams have gone shields, all out attack. Good shield there from the blue team. First team is on the board for the blue team. Second point on the board for the blue team. Red team needs to keep shooting, they've got four shards, they've got to lay those bullets out, put loads of pressure on the blue team. Everyone has gone four shots. So on the blue team trying to take a lot of distraction off the red team. Good point there for the blue team. Can the blue team keep it up or will the red team make it go to overtime and take it to 2-2? Two, 1-1, two? One, one, sorry, make it take go to the third game. That's the word I'm looking for, the third game. Really good stuff here from the blue team. Showing why they're actually quite a good team. It's their first time ever playing and they're really good. This is Team Red Hats I'm on about. Team Red Hats are doing really, really, really well. Gold Stars struggling a bit, but still kind of holding their own. It's their first one player as well, you got to remember. So they're holding their own really, 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 really well. Not putting Blue Team under enough pressure though. Blue Team are putting them under pressure and are really accurate with their shots, actually. So the Red Team are struggling. And it's gone 13-14 to the Red Hats. They have beat the Golden Stars 13-5. We are yet to have a game go to over, go to the next match here. The next match we have is going to be Team Jan versus Team Mystical Legends. Again, two new teams. So this could go, again be a really interesting game. Two brand new teams going up against each other. Let's see what can happen. So I'll get a parent oh, I've not done a parent interview yet. Let's see if I can get a parent interview. Yeah we have. Yeah. So here we have a parent from a member of Team No. So, are you impressed with their first game against the boss? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah? They played really well. Good Definitely did well. Though. Two shields and attack. Nearly won them a game. It's impressive. Having a really good tournament. Hoping to come third, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good stuff. Well, enjoy. Thank you. No worries. Yeah, that was Team No. So again, really, really good stuff here from all the teams, everyone's competing, everyone's doing really well. Can we double check our next matches? <laughs> the next match, I believe, is Mystical Legends versus Jan. It is, yeah. Jan, Mystic Legends. Perfect. There we are. That is Jim. Just getting the matches ready, getting everyone ready. Getting everyone on the court. Seeing what magic he can work up. Let's see if I can get another team here. Someone else doing an interview. I'm going to try, sorry guys, I'm just looking, scouting, see if I can scout anyone off to get an interview as many people as I can, just give as many different inputs into the tournament as we can possibly find. See if we can get Chi or someone to do an interview. Hello Tom. Again, all teams doing really well, two new teams going up against each other, so it's going to be quite an interesting one. Let's see I'm doing it in a second. Tom? Hello. 
predictions for the rest of the tournament? You are talking to the camera. I'd probably say predictions. For the way teams are playing, I'd say those take the card. Those solid take the card. So you reckon no is going to beat the Rock Offers? Yes. That's a bold statement. I said it as well. It's a bold statement because the Rock Offers are such a good team. Two years ago, they've dropped off as they've, <laughs> as they've been doing their, as they've been doing their GCSEs. Yeah. Well, anyway, Tom, I want you to go find a random person and get them to come here and interview. That's your mission. Go get a random person to interview me. Come. Okay, I'll give you guys a chance. You can see both teams getting ready. Both teams are just getting ready there, you can see they are all nearly ready, all of them are nearly ready. Tom is on a mission to go and get someone to do an interview, let's see if we can get him to do that. We need someone here to, I don't get going, but I want to get someone else's input, because my input isn't necessarily, I mean, it's so do you want, but I want to get as many different predictions in as we can see, see what other teams think is going to happen and how everyone else is going to play out. Because it's just my input alone, obviously my prediction is going to be correct because my prediction is always correct as you saw from the last tournament, but you never know. So this is your first ever tournament. Yeah. How, how are you finding it? Um, it's been pretty fun. Um, so it's my second time playing. Um, definitely improving. Uh, the first time I've had, I've had difficulty shooting. Um, I guess just getting used to how the game works. Yeah, it's been fun. Definitely takes a while for it to get used to the yeah, game. Yeah, Once definitely. you're used to it, it's it's fun. Yeah, it's definitely fun. It's really flexible, it's very uh, agile, quick on your toes. Yeah, you've got you to be smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be yeah. All smooth motions, yeah. <laughs> I can see like a couple of other teams how they move. It's like, okay, I think. Yeah, so you see, it's a good. Yeah, yeah. The Brighton teams are yeah, really good, oh, yeah, aren't they? Amazing. Yeah. yeah. You scared to go up against them? <laughs> I think everyone is. <laughs> Don't be. Be confident. <laughs> I mean, we'll give our best shot, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. It's a good tournament. How long have you been playing for? Me, I've been playing for four months now. Oh, nice. Nice. How'd you hear about? It? Good. Good. I will be playing, but because yeah. I'm streaming, mm. I'm not a part of a team. If I was a part of the team, I'd obviously win a tournament. It'd be unfair, I'm just that good, you see. Can't, can't. Okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, you happy with how it's going so far? Yeah. Nice. I think a couple of teams are going to cause some upsets. Yeah. I think a new team has a chance to beat a fairly old team. Okay. I reckon, dare I say it, because I've been hard from all tournament, there's a chance Team No, which is that team over there, yeah. lose to a new team. Because okay. I reckon they're going to switch off and just get caught off guard. Wow. And what would you say are like some of the best tactics like going into the game though? Best tactics against the better teams, double shield and attack. Because yeah. so if they can't hit you, they can't win. Mm. Because if you give them a chance to hit you, they're going to hit you. That's, yeah. my, that's my best advice. Okay. Don't let them hit you. And you're quite tall, so if you can move from left to right really quick, yeah. you're gonna be, you've got an advantage there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, just keep up. Just what, look below, because you'll have some shots coming up with you. <laughs> my brother said that literally just like, look down. Man. Look. I never tried that before. Moving on, just trying to move about, go back and down. It's like, look, when you look down, what is that? Where, where so, when you look go? down, the live mark goes like that. Ah, so, okay. it goes from that to. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Game's gonna start. Thank you. Kind of I'll see you in your next game. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So, the game has started here. No one has got shields. Two new teams. He said his first, he's just gone, but his first games he said went really, really well and he's enjoying it. So 10 seconds into the game, no one's got a point yet. Both teams, as far looks of it, are playing behind the shields. Good shield tactic there from the red team. Let's see if the blue team can get a point though. Red team have got the first two points on the board. This looks like a really evenly matched game. Good movement there from someone on the red team. Really good movement. Blue team are clawing back though. Blue team are definitely clawing back. Good movement there from the person in the white t-shirt on the blue team. Really good movement.
30 seconds in is still anyone's game. Blue team can come back just as quick as red team could take away. It's going to be a really, really close game this is. Still three points in it. Three points in Halo is nothing. Anything can happen. For example, red team just came back. Blue team, I reckon blue team can pull us back. This could be the first overtime game of the tournament. We've not had a game go to overtime yet in this tournament. It's going to be a really interesting well, factor if a game. It is 5-6. Blue team have pulled it back. And it's gone to overtime in the last second of the tournament. Ten seconds to go and we'll see what happens next. 6-6. Six, six. Blue team needs to get back. Our personal blue team needs to get back. Red team as well needs to get back. It's just a matter of patience now. Who is more patient will win this game? Will the blue team do the best to come back? And the blue team have done it. What to come back from the blue team? They were point, three points down the entire game. Came back in the last second and came back. Brilliant performance there from the blue team. Because of their moving distance, red team still about to battle the fourth. Yeah, blue team did yeah. definitely move yeah. more than red team. However, red team had better accuracy, so you don't, never know what's going to happen. The ever. blue team, they're younger players, so they're probably have a bit more energy. But the red team, they have a bit more accuracy. That was, a, that was a good game. Definitely so far, game of the tournament there. That's game of the tournament so far. Let's see if anyone else can top that game. Yeah. Brilliant game from both teams, brilliant performance. And they're two of the newest teams here. So and really, really good stuff. Game of the tournament is going to be the Boss IDK 16-16 overtime. Okay. 16-16, that's a very big scoreline, Tom. Actually, 7-7. Seven, seven. That's too small. Well, it is what you think of this. I know. Our 30 minutes since this tournament, guys, and it is going so well. Everyone is loving it. The atmosphere is amazing. Everyone's just having a really good time. So, yeah. Thank you to everyone who's turned up. Thank you to everyone watching the live stream. And everyone keep enjoying the tournament. I hope you are all enjoying it. It's looking like one more red player, and the game will start. You need to press the green button there. And I reckon the game is going to start soon. I'm going to switch over now because I reckon the game's going to start any second now. Let's see what happens. This game it could be another game. Will one team take Will a team take it away or it will be the same as last time. 4 3 2 1 all for the blue team. I told them to go about statics. That is my favourite stat, so I told them to go about stats. Actually, my favourite stat is 5 2 2. That's my favourite stat. But 4 3 2 1 is also a very good stat. Red team have got a first point on board, however this happened last time, the blue team just kept chipping away and came back in the last second. Red team more static than blue team, blue team moving around more, being a harder target to hit. Blue team have got two points just like that, red team have answered straight back. It is 2-2-2 two, two, two for blue team and red team. Blue team have got nice point on board, it was 3-2, red team have to answer back straight away otherwise blue team are just going to take away with this one. 3-3 three, three is still anyone's game, the closest game to the tournament so far. Good movement there from the guy on the blue team. Really, really good movement. 3-4, three, 3-4, four, 3-4 three, four, three, four to the blue team. Good movement there for the red team. Red team has to move more. Up and down, it's a tactic. They need to go up, down, left and right. Blue team are taking away this game now. Red team have to answer back ASAP. Blue team are starting to take away from this game now. Red team are starting to answer back. Will blue team win the series or will red team take it too? The best of three. Blue team are ahead now by four points. Can the red team pull back? Blue team are ahead by five points. Blue team are really showing why they're actually quite a good team. Blue team could give some more teams a shock here. 6 3. The red team coming back. There's two points in it. Can they come back? Can they go to overtime again? And it's took a lot of blue teams to go take it. The blue team have taken it. Put it points there from the blue and red team. Brilliant points for both teams. Brilliant there from both teams. Our next game is in Pool A. And it is the Rock Hoppers versus the Boss. Ooh. This could be a good game here. The Rock Ops and the Boss both get trained together, both play together. This could be a really interesting game here from both teams. Let's see what happens. So guys, what is everyone's predictions for the games? What is everyone, everyone put your predictions for this game in the chat. It's the Boss versus the Rock Hoppers.
five and ten. What a game that was. Brilliant from the uh, from player followed by the blue team. Four kills and didn't know once. Really, 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 really good movement there. Tom, another mission. Can you go and find a member from the Brighton team to go and do an interview? Any Brighton player. Any Brighton player. Can't be Team Techno. We've all we've already had an interview from Team Techno. We need to get someone to come and do an interview. I want to do any member of Brighton. We've had an interview from Team Techno. We want an interview from a different team now. I believe they have a player from the boss coming. Oh, you're on now, sorry. You're playing. Rock Hoppers versus the boss. Sorry about that. We had a player coming to interview and they went. Just like that. Don't worry. So, we've, we've already interviewed Team Techno, so you want to mix it up a bit. I want to interview Team Techno after their next game. Hi, oh, Tommy Ox. <laughs> Hello. We won one in again later today. We won one in again later. Yeah. Yes. In the time. Right, so. Well done. Two of your favourite teams here, the Boss and Rock Hoppers. Who's winning? Both my teams. Um, it's. I don't know. Hard to say, to be honest. They've both been kind of neck and neck recently. But before, like maybe like before this week, it was uh, definitely the Boss. I've never seen Rock Hoppers play, so it's going to be interesting. Really? No. The first time I've seen them play against a team which can beat them. Uh, well, we get to see them today. Yeah. The, right now, though, they haven't got their main player playing. Well, one of their main players, because uh, Donny's ill. So he couldn't come today. So they've got one of the subs, Percy, in instead. Yeah. So would you say it's changed the team a bit, or do you reckon they're still going to cope okay? I think the, cha the team will be fine. Yeah, so they play together all the time, because we do mix teams anyway. So. So the boss playing against the boss? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> nah, I'll Hi, George. Do you want to join in? You've already done it? He's already done it, yeah. Oh. Trying to oh, get yeah, everyone to do one. Yeah. Yeah. Who do you reckon a standout player is going to be on the Rock Hoppers team? Rock Hoppers? Um, definitely look out for Seb. Seb. He uh, played in the World Cup with us, so he's definitely yeah. good. Percy as well, he's really good. What about the boss? There's the boss? What player's gonna cause most damage for the Definitely boss. Sky or Kawa. But then sometimes I know where the end will get like five kills out of nowhere and just completely obliterate the other team. So. I've been saying all told the boss have a chance to beat you today. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. How about missing Percy, will that affect them against you guys? Um I think it will. Because They've been used to swapping out players in and out. Obviously, Sky plays every single game, so he's not. But I'm not too sure Leanne does get swapped out. Yet, so. so they might get tired and then lose harder. So. Okay, okay. Well, we'll find out. I'm hoping, anyway, because Team No yeah. are gunning for the Rock Hoppers this tournament. I don't know if you heard. Yeah, I saw them. They're going for the Rock Hoppers. That's their They're still team. doing quite a lot of shields. They did double shields, yeah, it worked this time. Really good, yeah. it worked. I think yeah. they could still improve on it, but you know, obviously. They don't, in training, I don't ever see them use shields. So uh, that, that's why then. Because they know that they can't evade the boss. Yeah. So double shields and attack nearly worked for them. However, they didn't use the shields well enough. They stacked them. Yeah, they stacked they them stack. top and One at a time. Yeah. Nearly worked out. Yeah. How's it been then? It's been good, I'm just... The new teams are really impressing me. The new teams? Yeah. Really? So I've been training up today, so I feel pride from winning. <laughs> You've been training them? Yeah, it's a yeah, lot. I've, it's I've, I've seen them all time. before. Uh, a few of them I've seen the last time I came here for the opening, so... It's, it's a lot of the players' first time playing. I know a lot of them have played a couple of times before, so it's... Yeah. Hi, George. It's an interesting arena as well. It seems it's a bit more seating. Everyone's a bit more spread out. Yeah, we've got us over here, and then I've got back there. There's a lot of TVs everywhere as well. You can kind of watch them anywhere. Yeah, literally anywhere. There's a TV there, which is what I've been watching on. <laughs> You're not missing anything. Different angles there, yeah. However, it's a projector on. No, it isn't. Last time they had a projector on, it was quite cool. We couldn't get it working today. Oh, really? That's a problem. Both teams are nearly ready by the looks to it. 
Yeah. I believe it's one player on the rock hoppers getting ready. Percy, is it? I think so. Percy usually takes longest in training, so. I've been training to beat you in a 1v1. Really? I'll, my goal today is to get one point. One point. Maybe in a couple of months I can sneak a victory. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. My, we'll my see. whole goal today is one point. One point. You make know, a team, try to go against us, see what happens. Well, the problem <laughs> is, I can't make a team because... Yeah, you're commentating. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not a bad player though. I'm being trained by the best player in the country, Ash. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, all right. So here we have the rock hoppers versus the boss. First point in the game is always the most important point. Yeah, I, I agree. I think it's good to get the first point, but if it doesn't, then it doesn't happen. It is what it is, you know? You can always pull it back later. Sets tone for the game. Yeah. No points in the first 10 tips, oh. and there we are. First point to the rock, to the boss. Both, both actually, teams both teams actually, scored yeah. a point. Don't think anyone's got shields, all out attack. Good movement there from rock hoppers. My first time seeing them properly move. Two, two. Every time one gets point, they get the other. Is there any type of strategy to beat the boss? To beat the boss? Oh, if I had to say... But I'll not give it away too much. Yeah, you can't give not, away too Not much. many, to be honest. The boss is really good. They can play shields, they can play against shields, or they can, like, go against any type of attacking because they're all really good at dodging. So, your best bet is to just be better than them. Yeah, just hope. Yeah, <laughs> just, just be better than them. 4 3 that Rock Hoppers are winning this game. It'll be a bit of an upset for the boss, I'd say, if Rock yeah. Hoppers win. It will be. But well, honestly, if boss are pushing you quite heavily, the best thing you can do is just counter them, push them harder. But, but it seems oh, like Rock Hoppers is. Something cool. like Team No versus Rock Hoppers could be team in a tournament. Yeah. No, game in a tournament. First game has gone to, to, to Rock, Rock Hoppers. Hoppers. Seven two was it? Uh, seven yeah. six. Seven six, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, seven six two. The boss. To the rock hoppers. Yeah. <coughs> so what, do you, what do you think? First time seeing them play. They're good. They're good. Yeah. Do you think they, you can beat them? No. <laughs> no. They fair, don't. Fair. They don't move as much as you or the boss. Yeah. But, but their movement is. Yeah. yeah. They don't move a lot, but when they do move, it does make sense. For me, because I'm not as experienced player, when I move, a lot of mine's random and not. I'll do a head, yeah. head tilt, but I'll come back and I'll put myself in the worst position. Yeah, it's difficult because um, we've all played during the time where the head tilt was like, I'm not allowed. Yeah. Because if you looked away, you wouldn't be focused in, you'd be gone. So, looking away, like transitioning from not looking away to looking away was quite hard. I still prefer not looking away, like not doing any head tilt at all, but it's definitely a lot better if you do. I've been taught by Ash and Shamai that if I have no other option, just... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You have to. I prefer to keep my eyes like in front of me, because then I can shoot back or I can see the bullets coming at me. What's your favourite stats? What's the captain's favourite stats? The captain's favourite stat? 1-1-3-5. One, one, three, five. One, one, three, five, Shields, okay. obviously. I can put my shield down, stand behind it, scream at my teammates, and I don't have to do anything. So, yeah, it sounds pretty good, actually. <laughs> yeah. You should try it. First point on the board for the boss. Yeah. Will this be the first game or tournament to go to the best of three? So far, not one game has. Mm. Yeah. I think with newer teams going against newer teams, it's usually just 2-0 or 2-0. It's always close. Yeah. That last game was really good where it went to overtime in the last couple of seconds. Yeah, it did. Again, Rock Hoppers. Clawing back now, the boss had a two point lead, so. Yeah. I think the boss has got a lot more aggressive now after the last game. So. It's looking like we're going to have a best of three game. Yeah. The boss putting the rockets on the back front foot yeah. and they don't really know what to do. Yeah. I mean, when you see two people standing at the very front not dying, no matter how much you shoot them, it's a bit difficult, so. Yeah, it's pretty disheartening as well. Yeah. You've got someone on the front, you can't hit them. Yeah. But in that case, focused person at the back, they're not expecting the shots. Yeah, sometimes. It's always tough. When you're being shot like that, it's hard to keep focus. It's looking like Rock Hoppers couldn't come back here though. So, nah. Nah, not anymore. It's a like Six eight. point leads in five seconds. So. First game to go to the best three. Pretty. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. 4 11. Of course, it would be the boss, and of course, it would be the boss and Rock Hoppers to go there. Yeah. Two, not closest match teams, I'd say you and the boss are closer and the Rock Hoppers and the boss. Yeah. After what I was seeing anyway in the last tournament where it was close. Yeah. Maybe I'll show you something different today. 
maybe. Who knows? Why do you reckon they're catching you up so fast? Because they are definitely catching uh, you up. Hello! Hello, George. <laughs> Jesus. I think um, they train with us all the time, obviously, so that definitely helps. When you train with someone so much, you know exactly what they're going to do, yeah. how they move, how they shoot. It is what it is. What about Team Synergy? Synergy. Do you reckon they ever catch you back up? Well, I mean, seeing how busy they are, I'd say no. Yeah, obviously, busy. because they literally have no time to train. But even then, it's, it's tough as well because they don't have as much experience overseas. Like, Shamai went to Euros. They're going, they're going to Greece. Yeah, but then like That's international friendly, tournaments is a yeah. lot different. Like in one, they are really good. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna go back. Got a secret stash. Right, let's see what team can get the first point on the board here. Will it be Rock Hoppers or the Boss? The Boss have got the first point on the board. Captain Rock Hoppers answer straight back, or will the Boss get another point? Good move, but now actually losing a life marker moves that fast. Boss have got the next point. Lots of communication there coming from the Boss behind us. Yeah, it's the Boss behind us. Uh, yeah. Lots of communication from the Boss behind us. One five. Rock Hoppers have the first point on the board. Can they answer back again? And close the gap down. Three six, three seven, two, the boss. Rock off has yet to answer back properly. Let's see if they can pull it back and win the game. Two points in it, rock off are answering back. Can the boss hold out? The boss going away, boss hold. Rock hoppers have boss hoppers. Boss the hoppers. <laughs> the rock hoppers have to answer back. Three points in it. They can still do it. Four points in it. It's a big ass now for the rock hoppers to win this game. And it's looking like the boss is going to take the series. Brilliant performance there from the boss and the rock hoppers. Five eleven is the final score. Good performance from both teams. Would you say that seems about right? Yeah, that seems about right. I mean, rock hoppers has got our oh, back-to-back game. Back-to-back. Oh wow. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, of course. Right, so now we have Ben, Sammy, and Blitz versus Team Techno. Here's your team coming up. Yeah, Techno's coming. They actually got four points on us earlier. Do you reckon they beat this new team? Do you reckon there's an upset? I think they'll beat the new team, definitely. I think they came into this tournament hoping to beat all the new teams so that they can bring their points up so they can go to the National League. So. I hope they do, but. Team No needs to do Wales tournament to stop anyone else getting third place. They're in third right now. They need to win. They need to win. They need to come third to stay third. Third, oh, I see. It's going to be a really, really interesting yeah. game from them. See what they do, see if they can beat the Rock Hoppers now. Yeah. Okay. Game which went over time, game of the tournament between <laughs> Mystic Legends and. And the red hat, yeah. Because yeah. the guy has a red hat. Yeah. <laughs> I was training him up this morning. Training up this morning. Master when trainer. You, when we go here? Uh, at ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. No. Twelve o'clock. Oh yeah. We're training for three hours and then we got on playing. Training three hours before playing. That's uh, not fun. <laughs> nah, it's fun. Yeah, but then you're gonna play a tournament after, so. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's funny for me sitting here. Although well, my voice has got a lot of training. Yeah. Are you ready for the 1v1 between me and you? I want to win. You're going to win? It's all about mindset. It's all about a mindset. That's true. It is about the mindset. It's going to 10-0. 10-0? Yeah, man. you yeah. be lucky to get a point on me. Really? Really? Yeah, man. Lucky to get even a pestle. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go tell these guys what to do. Uh, I'll bring uh, someone to come. Yeah? yeah. Good luck. And so that was Paris, the captain of Team RDK, one of the best teams in Europe. Hello, how are you? I'm good. So here we have a member of the boss. Now, that was a good game between you and the Rock Hoppers. 
the first game, why, why do you reckon the first well, game think that so well? Uh, well, I think that we just lacked communication and we didn't like push up together as a team. You did really well in the next two games as well. You held a pretty, pretty high lead for both teams. I believe it ended. Uh, get scores up now. Both games got 11 points against the Rock Hoppers. It's quite an impressive score. Uh, well, we just like put a really, we play really aggressive normally, and we just stopped them from trying to go in the front line to get them off. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Oh, we have no member of the bus. We have two members of the bus now. Both just played against the Rock Hoppers, two of the best teams in Europe. Rock Hoppers. It's a bit of a test for them today because they've got Team No. Uh, team No are going for Rock Hoppers. And between you and me, I think Team No can beat them. Really? Well, yeah. Well, Team No has had a lot of training. So They've had a lot of training. Which one is Team No again? Team No is the one which went against RDK and did double shields, just that. Yeah, it, and we had to get No, against you guys. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they were like, no, I think Rock Hoppers can beat them. Yeah. They can beat them, but it's going to be close. It's going to be a really close game. As long as they get down the shield and they just. That's the important part, they've got to get the shields down, otherwise Team No will crawl back and win it. Yeah, I, don't think, I disagree with the statement. I think Rock Hoppers will win. Someone in chat has said hello to you. Oh, hello. Hello, So, where do you guys want to come in this tournament? Are you aiming for second place or first place? We're aiming for second place. I reckon, I've been saying all tournament, I think you can beat IDK. Well, it's definitely possible. We normally get close to them. So. All you gotta do, you win the first game. Second game is anyone's game. It's a close game. If it goes to overtime as well, anyone can win. Anyone. Yeah. How's it going? The, the next game is Team Techno versus Team uh, Ben, Sam, and Blitz. Yeah. After that, it will be the Rock Hoppers vs Team No. Game of the tournament. What, what's the game of the tournament? You guys vs RDK? Anyone who qualifies for fight should be in the game of the tournament. Are you in the same pool as RDK? No, we're in the same pool as Rock Oh, so you could go to the finals against them. That'd be a good game. That'd be a really good game. We could, we could fight against them in the as well. Now, in the finals, is it one game? Or is it best of three? It's best of three. Since like just the groups are best of three. Alright. What do you reckon your tactic to beat them will be? Well, okay. I, I think just like get the first kill and like... We, we don't really have tactics coming on. Put one under pressure? Yeah, that's run around. <laughs> run around. Run around. That's my tactic anyway. Run around and don't shoot back. Don't shoot back? If I run around, I can't shoot back. I'm not that good yet. I'm training. Uh, what team are you going to be on? Pardon? What team are you going to join? I'm not joining a team because I stream and commentate. So I'm just here. Experience. I'm playing. If I can get good at a the game, then I know what to say and what's bad, what's good, so I can commentate on good things. To so the better I get, the better I can commentate. I'm one big one in Parasite today, and the goal is to win. The goal is to win. I'm one big one in Tom. Do you reckon you'll win? Uh, Tom's a good player. Quite close. Quite close. It, it's a unique style. Also, uh, yeah. So is that Team Techno which has gone shields? Uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Team Techno has gone shields. Yeah. I did teach uh, Quinn to do shields. Yeah, it's Team Techno. Team Techno have gone shields. Let's see how the new team can handle shields. It's quite a smart tactic from Team Techno because the newer teams don't know how to attack shields yet. You learn how to defeat shields after you learn how to attack players normally. It's their first time playing, so they need to get focused children, but they don't know how to do that yet. They've not been taught how to do that yet, so they're not going to focus them. It's going to make it a really hard game for them. Last four kills for Techno. The new team have got a point on the board. Techno's showing again while they are a more experienced team using the shield as well. They still have one more shield too. I think that might be one of the tallest Hado players we have ever seen on the pitch. Very tall player there. 6-1 Techno. Techno really needs this game. The red team have to answer back now if they want to win the game. 7-1-2 Team Techno. The red team have got another point. They need to start answering back now if they want a chance of winning this game. 
and more and more likely like the first round is going to go to Team Techno. Red Team R, four and back go. And it's gone first round to Team Techno. What will the score be? 9-3 to Team Techno in the first round of the tournament. First round of the game. 9-3. Oh, you did it in the wrong place. Pretty cool, sir. Um, yeah. well, another member of the boss, but he's playing for the Rock Office today. Yeah. Alright, so, how do you think you played against your old team? Old team? How do you think? Oh. Yeah, right now, for today, they're your old team. Part of the Rock Office for today. Uh, yeah. Do you reckon you're going to come third? Uh, yeah. Rock Office's hardest game is going to be Team No. Uh, do you think you can beat No? Um, you know the people we yeah, I think so. Say, how, how easily? Um, like, 70%. 70% sure you can win? Uh, maybe. We have another member of the Rock Office here. We've got the whole crew here. How many games left? How many games left? We have. Oh, by the way, you put... One game left, that's it. You put the nine in the wrong place. Okay. Right, so we have Techno vs Mystical Legends. Let's see how we're going to do. Wait, is this Mystical Legends? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. No, this is Ben, Sam and Blitz. Ben, Sam. Hello, sir. Both to get ready here. Te do you reckon Techno win this game? I do reckon they will win this game. If, if they take down the shield, it'll be like... It'll be really close. 70% chance they'll... Uh, Who's Techno's biggest rival in this tournament? I reckon they, again, Team No. I reckon Rock Office and Techno's biggest rival could be Team No. I reckon Team No are favourites going into it against Techno. I mean, Looking on rankings. Fighting Mongers are a very good team. However, the game has started, so. I believe the new team has gone shields. Let's see who. Techno have got the first point on the board. Techno have got the first two points on the board. Can a new team answer back? Can red team answer back? Good movement there from Techno. Can one are the better team? Seven one two techno, forty seconds left to go. Nine one two techno. Can techno get a high score here? Te this guy techno is going to get a really really high score in this game. It's be good for their tournament. They're not getting down the shield fast enough. That's the problem. That's their experience. If they're an experienced team, they'll get those shields down and they'll win. Because they're not experienced, they're struggling to get the shields down. Really struggling. Good movement there from Team Techno. Good movement, is that George there? Yes. Good movement from George on the front lines, Team Techno. It's going to be an 18 to 4 score for Team Techno. Brilliant well, game there from both. Very good. Very dominant game. Yeah. Very dominant game. 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 Did I? Yeah, I did. Thank you, that would have been really bad. You didn't see that. You didn't uh, see that. Oh, yeah. okay. Alright, so. Rock Hoppers versus Team No now, which is the big game of the tournament for me. Who do you reckon is going to win? I know you've already got the answer, but. I reckon that Rock Hoppers will win. I want the exact score prediction. The exact score? Uh, exact score? It depends if they get down their shields or if they go shields at all. That's all. See, Jim, they're giving them tactics. Because Team No, they have their coaches, but Synergy aren't here. It's because Synergy coach Team No. 
and their coaches aren't here today, otherwise I imagine team teams should begin team no tactic because they're a less experienced team and Rock Hoppers, let's be honest, are a really experienced team. Yeah, they've been playing for like two years. For longer than you guys? No, not longer, just a few years. I think it was like one year left. Team No played just under a year. Hey. I mean, obviously their players are way, way older than and also they, they have a bigger understanding and they're quite mature, so they'll keep calm in situations. They are, Rock Hoppers are the favourites. Yeah. Good job. Like, what, 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 only say one thing. Twelve. Wait, say one thing. Twelve KD. That was two things. George had a twelve KD back last game. Really good stuff there from George. Twelve KD. Mate. Mate. We won't be facing them, can we? Because they're going to get crumped by you and that means they will make it. So, oh, 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 okay. and oh. will make it. IDK and us are going to make it. So, wow. they're going to be out. Just be oh. careful, you might lose 20 years. No, you will obviously win. Yeah. Did you see that? One death. One death. One death. Okay. Wow. Really good stuff, guys. Really good stuff. Yeah, because you're behind the shields. This no. is potential game of the tournament here. E game. Everyone is right in Team No Off. I'm the only one who thinks Team No stand a chance. I've been seeing their training and they're improving. It looks like Team No aren't showing their stats off, whereas Rock Hoppers are. Looks like it's going 5-3. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely going 5-3 there, so Team No need to understand that. He's gone low charge, so he needs to go double shields here. If they want to win this game, they've got to go double shields. If they go triple shields, they've lost the game instantly. Got to go double. They're gonna go double. Because let's be honest, their movement isn't good enough to dodge rock hoppers. They need to use double shields. Yeah. That just you like said down to lack of experience. So if they use the shields well, they can win. But if they stack it like we did against you guys, they won't win. That's why they lost against you. They stacked the shields up. How much did we beat them by? Like around five or six. It was eight four. It was. But for a while it was two two. I thought they had to for a second. Yeah, I tried at the start because I haven't played any games. No, hey, neither have I. I'm on for one in Paris for my first game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but Paris be might be a bit tired. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, you're going to be tired. He literally played in the World Cup. He has so much stamina. Oh, I've got no play. stamina. I'm tired after one game. <laughs> and I remember that last night. You won't be one of them and you lost. And then, also World Cup, you have to play like nine group stages. And it's like... So many in Team RDK giving Rock Hopper some tips there by the looks of it. Team No, ready. It is Rock Hoppers we're waiting on. I believe the game will be starting soon. They're just getting the headsets and that ready. We're going to transition over now. It's looking like we're going to start. Yeah, two different cameras. No one has on shields, they've gone all out attack. Uh, they've gone high charge. This could be a really hard game then for Team No. They've gone for an all out shootout, one of the best teams in Europe. Let's see what happens. Yes. Who's going to get the first point? The first point has gone to Rock Hoppers. Can Team No answer back? Rock Hoppers have got the next point. Team No need to answer back as quick as possible. Team No have answered back. Team No have answered back, shouting, lots of shouting here from Rock Hoppers. Good movement there from Team No, good movement there from Rock Hoppers as well. Team No have to get another point on the board, otherwise it's going to be too late by the end of the match. Loads of shouting there going from the Rock Hoppers. Really good stuff there. Good shield there, really good shield there. Only four points in it, still anyone's game. Five seconds left to go. Eight seconds. Not left to go. Eight points. Team No, let this game slip. I, I believe Team No have lost this game because of the stats. I told you, they can't take them in all that shootout. They've got to use stats. They've got to use shields. But they can't use triple shields because then they won't get any points. They've got to use double shields with 4-3-2-1.
that's the best start for them to go. They've got to. They've got to go double shields. They can't win if they go. The only chance to win is double shields. Or they can just take uh, one shield. I don't think one shield would work because Rock Off is so experienced. They put one shield up, that shield's going like that. They'll get a shield down so quick. Wait, they go shield like this? No, no one went shield, so they lost. Because Team No don't have that experience who know when to dodge and how to dodge. Really good stuff there from the Rock Offers. It's looking like, from what I believe, Team No, from what I can hear, are going shields. I can, but it sounds like they're going double shields. I can hear. Yeah. They're right behind us there. So team no. Right there. And they're going shields. Double shields. It's going to take a lot of them to beat Rock Hoppers now. I mean, if, if Rock Hoppers get the lead, then it'll probably be... It's going to be so hard for Techno. No. Team no to win. Both have no in it. Be really, really hard for one though to win this game. Definitely underdogs going into it. Definitely. Few technical difficulties here with the Rockhopper's headset. Jim is just fixing it. Good movement here from Team Row by the looks of it. Team Row are almost ready, but wait on one more player and then they will be ready. I reckon No will take this game. But obviously I'm slightly biased because I've trained Team No a while. So I've got a bit of bias in me. However, they are a good team. Whether they're better than Rock Hoppers, I don't know. If they go against like, weaker teams, like, we haven't played like international, um, not international, region part, do Team No usually go like, not like, full attack? Team No, Team No will use shields every now and then. They started using them more. So in training, they have been using them more, they never used to. But they have started learning how to use them a lot they more. Need to use the triple shield tactic. No, they can't use triple shield tactics. They'll lose. They got to use the most shields they can use is double. Game has started. Let's see how Team No do. They have knock on shields. It's looking like my prediction for this game is now Rock Offers to win the game. From my prediction, it's going to be 14 7 2 the Rock Offers this game. That is my prediction. I could be wrong. I misheard him, I thought they were going shields, I was wrong. No points scored yet. No, it's quite a slow game. Who's got first point's gonna be an important point? It's looking like Rock Hopper's about to get a point. Good head movement there from Team No player Lucas. Team No have got a first point on the board! Team No have got the first two points on the board! Good movement there from Team No! Rock Hopper's have to go on the front line like people said. Team No have three points on the board, still anyone's game! Team No are playing that out really, really well. My prediction was really good stuff here for Team No. Rock Hopper's have got the first point on the board. Is that a breakthrough? Will they come back? Team No needs to register another point on the board in the last 20 seconds. Team No have got the next point. It's 4 1, 2 4, 5 2, 3 points left. Two points in it. Will Rock Hopper's put it back? Will Team No win? Eight seconds left, one point in it! One more point! It's gonna go to overtime! It's gonna go to overtime, who's gonna win it? Brilliant prawns from the Rock Hoppers and Team No. We still have two, all their shorts left for Rock Hoppers. Even though Rock Hoppers have no matter, I reckon they'll win. Alright, here we are. It's the overtime. Rock has got a ball, three shields. Team No have a lot of pressure to deal with now. Team No have to shoot back. Team No are taking it and it's going to go to the best of three. Wow. Five, six, two. Team No. Game of the tournament. Game of the tournament. Very close game.
game compared to the last game. Ben, game of the tournament. Tuna Rock What was the Rock Offers and Thingy's first game? Two sets, guys. I'm just sorting out the scoreboard. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just getting back now. I've done that right, I've done that right. But uh, it is the final that. game. Well, the last shot they lost. Yeah. Very, because like in training yesterday, they were playing very well. You know, we're even coming close to like, some teams like uh, Boston and IDK. Maybe it's the pressure, I reckon. And like you said, they're an experienced team. And experience always comes out on top. So, both the if team no, go. If team no go attack this time, I do think they lose it. If team to, if team no, go shields, I reckon they win it. You think their best tactic is going double shields? One shield this time. One shields. It seems I can hold them off on attack. I mean, Seb, as a World Cup player, I think, I think they'll definitely win. And maybe they might be under pressure or they just might be really good. Yes. That definitely happens in tournaments. If they get so into a call, like people. It's going to be a good game. I think they might have just been playing a bit too slow because Team No got the first two kills and they were still pretty much stuck at the back. And they came back to it though, they did come back into yeah. the game, so yeah. Just Rock offers have whichever team gets off the best start is going to win this game. Here it is, game of the tournament coming up. They've gone all out shootout again. All out shootout. Oh, Seb is a bit unfocused there. Oh. Who's going to first point? Going to go to? No point. No. First point is going to go to the Rock offers by looks of it. Rock offers have the first point on the board. Can team now answer back? Sam gets some targeted. Can team though answer back? Will Rock Uppers get another point for the answer back? 1 0 so far. Close game. Two Rock Uppers players are on one life marker. Rock Uppers have got an extra point on the board. First three points have gone to Rock Uppers. Team no need to answer back now. Team no have got their first point. It's 3 2. Anyone's game still? It's anyone's game. What's the game? Please change screen, oh my god, screen. Sorry about that. Three, two. Sorry about that. Four, three, two, the rock offers. First game, Sam is two capital. It's anyone's game. Rock hoppers experience is gonna come down to the wire here. Rock hoppers experience is gonna show them. I, I still think Rock Hoppers is gonna win this game. Their experience is gonna win it. Important there from the Rock Hoppers and Team No. Rock Hoppers showing why they would win it. The experience won them that game. If Team No had more experience, they might have won it. But Team No's experience lost them that game. Rock Hoppers did excellent. I think if Alfie stopped behind the line and got that shot in, they would have. What was that? Five six again. Uh, yeah, five six. Yeah. Again. Very close to it. Really good game there from both teams. Really, really good game. There are technical difficulties halfway throughout the game. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I misclicked on the transition and it didn't click, so you missed a couple of seconds of the game. But it, it got back, got to the end part. We got to the important part where we won, and I'm sorry. What does the comments you say? The comments here. We uh, missed. I didn't have the gameplay. A really good game from both Team Low and the Rock Hoppers.
probably games of the tournament. Rock Hopper's going outside to catch some fresh air, but I looks at it, they are tired. Team now have a weird play style. It's kind of what happened with me the first game, and then after that, it's happened. Team now are a hard team. Once you know how team no play, you can counter it and beat it. But they're a hard team. I believe it in the next game it is Team RDK versus oh. Team Ben Sammy. I reckon RDK will win because they are the best team. I don't think RDK win this game, I think RDK lose 10-0. Oh, that's a bit unrealistic, I think it should probably be like 8-2. Yeah, it should be a bit more close. Oh, so we're going to lose 8-2? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, you know what? I'm hoping this team can do well because obviously RDK is one of the best teams in Europe. They're kind of trash. Yeah, I reckon we can beat them. Definitely. A bit of trash talk going on here from uh, the boss. No. So when you play them, are you going to win? Uh, Hopefully. I yeah. think red team are going to win. What's their name? Uh, ben and Sammy. Golden Star. Wait, no. Ben, Sammy and Blitz. Yeah, Ben, Sammy, Blitz. Go Ben, Sammy, Blitz. The thing is though, anyone can win. All it takes is one bad game from RDK. Yeah, well, I know it's not like one in a million, but there's a chance. Not one in a million. One in a billion. No, less than that. It should be like one in like hundreds. Because I, just, I don't know. Actually, no, never mind. Do you reckon any team has pushed RDK this tournament? Or do you reckon they're taking it nice and easy uh, so far? Well, so far, I have quite an easy group. I don't think they're going to struggle. They're probably going to make it to the finals. Who do you reckon the hardest game is going to be between? For you? Um, most likely IDK. So you're assuming you're going to get to the finals? Well, who are we even against? Techno. Techno. If Techno is going to get to the finals, then Techno. You are against the Golden Stars and the Red Hats. Uh, so the semi finals will be like the second. I reckon you get to the finals. For both oh, teams. Red team pushing up, oh. being very aggressive. Oh. You don't usually see teams do that against RDK. You don't see teams go up on the front Plus line. two points on the board for IDK. Wow. IDK dominated. First time, it's a really, really good game so far. Red team holding their own, considering it's their wait. first ever time playing and doing wait. quite well. Wait, who's the one in the white shirt? He has shields, so he's going at the front. Yeah. Okay. He needs to know. use them to help his team. Yeah. Maybe you're saving them. Game of the tournament there from the Rock Hopper. Oh, 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 oh. 15 0 to IDK. Still none of the shores being used here. No kills from Red Team. Do you reckon it gets 30 points this game? Yeah. Um, no. Possibly. 24. 25. 27. Okay, let's see who's six. 25. I reckon they'll get 27 points. I reckon the red team will get a point on the board before the end of this game. Another shield up. I told you, we got a point. We got two points. White shot hasn't gotten... The really good stuff there from the red team. Getting two points on one of the best teams in Europe is really no, impressive. Haven't used all their shields. No, one of their kills counts as 10, so technically they only won by two. Yeah. <laughs> Really impressive first team performance there from that brand new team. Let's see. I think whoever went uh, 
I reckon they should go no shields, the shields are hard for a first time player. You don't you want to go all out attacking for a first time player. Are they first time players? Why is there so many? Because they're all brand new teams. What is their first time players? Some of them, yeah. But the London teams have Both London teams and I was training them this morning. Quite tight because they're not used to it. Exactly, Bootube, exactly. The first ever one, they're doing really, really well. Look, okay, these new teams, it's the first ever tournament, next tournament, they're going to do really well. They've got some good experience against some good teams, and they're going to do well. It's going to be quite an interesting game, this one. Red team likes to play really aggressive. I think the best way to play against RDK is aggressive. If you can put RDK on the back foot, you can win. You never know. But you, you need to... The guys uh, who have the shields needed to put up the shields so that they could actually get into the front line. Otherwise, they're just going to be pushed back. It's his first time playing. So it's the very tall man in the white shirt. It's his first time playing. No, not first time playing. He's played before. It's his first out tournament. I know it's one of their first time playing. I know some of them have, some of them haven't, so it's a mix of players who have played and haven't played. Will they be given like the points or will they just get like the Never getting the points, 200%. How much points do you get each game? Pardon? How many points do you get each game, actually, to get some more points? Wait, round or like game? Game. Every match. I think. I could be wrong, but I think that's what happens. So each win is one point? Wait, and he lives, do you get minus points? Or no. Other teammates get points. Yeah, you get zero. Guys, you're going to get ready to play soon, yeah? You're going to win the match. You're going to win the match after this? Yeah. Wait, are we going to get golden stars? Golden you guys are against golden stars next, yeah. Wait, who are golden stars? Golden stars are a brand new team. Is this their first game? Yeah. 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 <laughs> first game. How, how many games are there left? I'm pretty sure we have two more games. And exactly, Bootube. If you don't use shields right, you won't win the game. If you're going to do shields, you have to do it perfect. Another brand new team? Yes. We've, I think we've got four brand new teams this tournament. So it's a really good tournament. I reckon Techno are making it to semis and they might get like third or fourth. I could agree. They might make it to the finals. They win against Rock Hoppers. That could be close. Do you reckon Techno could beat Rock Hoppers? Do you reckon Techno could beat Team No? Therefore, they should, they could compete against Rock Hoppers. Because Techno are a good team, they've got some good movement in them, got a good couple of points. I like what I see from Team Techno. Oh. Unless they get to the final, we're not playing. Okay, we need to go now. Right, good luck on your games, guys. Okay, thank you. Okay, we'll come back after. Good luck, Stan. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, your game is after this game, yeah. So, how do you think the tournament's going so far? Yeah, the tournament's going well. I mean, considering it's the kind of first uh, London regional sub regional, and uh, obviously, you like your, your teams, your players, you know. Um, I don't expect, you know, it's pretty kind of one sided because obviously you've got the two players, players here yeah. come up to uh, compete against the new players. But, but however, we like to put a new team together, it's great experience for them. Yeah, it's good experience. Playing against the best teams that you first time playing. Getting a point on RDK is impressive, especially for yeah, the first tournament. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I was saying to the new team, you know, they asked to be for prize. I mean, don't worry about shielding too much. Don't worry about kind of you know, doing yeah. special moves. All you got to do is to keep dodging, keep moving. That's what I said. I said new teams don't want to do shields because if you're going to do them, you have to do them perfect. Otherwise, there's no point doing them. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, it's all about training as well. I mean, for shielding it takes it takes effort and time and placement. Yeah. It's not just about trying to get a shield out and hope for the best. Because, you know, there's a lot, a lot of timing involved, a lot of strategy, and there's different, different ways of using that shield. Who's your team in the tournament so far? Who's played the best out of everyone? I think, 
honest with you, I think the, the last match with, with the Rock Poppers and Team No, that was a really exciting match to watch. Because, you know, uh, Team No is actually doing really well as a kind of Midlands team. I'm not sure how long they've been playing the sport. Just under a year. Just under a year. I said they, I reckon they saw the better chance against Rock Hoppers in that final game if they went shields on the basis of that double shield because Rock Hoppers are such an experienced team they were always going to find that extra step and beat them in that last game. Yeah, yeah. So I, my theory was if they can catch them off guard with anything and put them off their game they should because they're obviously no, I'm not, I like to know but they're not as experienced as Rock Hoppers by any means. No, I mean, they're playing really well, as I say, yeah. in the competition. I mean, you know, it's all about adapting as well. Yeah. When you, when you play the first match, kind of work out, you know, what your other players are doing. And then if you, you've done badly on the first match, yeah. then that's when you kind of switch, switch it. And that's where, you know, you want to work out what they're doing in the first, yeah. the first match anyway. And you know how, what they, how they're playing and how, what the skill level are. Yeah. So in terms of kind of the accuracy and dodging the block. So a rip hop rock hoppers, a straight out, a straight out uh, shoot out would be ideal because they're, they're accurate enough and they would be like in a dodge as well. Yeah. yeah. It's been a really good tournament so far and I'm enjoying the new teams playing against each other. You have to definitely seen some teams do better than other teams on their first time playing. Oh definitely, I mean, you can tell they, you know, the new players are, you know, brand new players here today, but probably I'm playing, I'm playing uh, more than probably, you know, 10 games. 10 games. But you can see some naturally have the movement down already. Yeah. A lot of them do. I think they, they've been watching the other, kind of like, you know, experience, watching these players. Yeah. You know, seeing what they do. It's always good to, to know, to have that kind of... Uh, you try and copy it, even if you can't, you try. Exactly. If you have, if you have something that you can replicate and see what they're doing, that helps as well. You kind of, like, work out different kind of movements, you know. It's all about agility as well. Yeah. It really is, I mean, it's, the sport, it's not just about tech, shoot, 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 shoot. It's going to be kind of agile as well. The, the physicality in the sport. The spot I've seen people get caught out most is when they go low to the ground, they always get hit on the way back up. That's it. When you go low, you've got to find a way not to get hit when you come back up. It's about, it's about being agile and flexible, yeah. flexibility. Being able to kind of bounce off. Yeah. You know, once you get down, because a lot of players, once you get down, they can't get back up. Yeah, you get down, you're... Yeah, they're stuck down there. Yeah. And then they take, they take a lot of time, they, they struggle to kind of bounce back up. That's my best tip is don't use your knees to go down, use your ankles so you can bounce back up. Yeah, that could work as well. I mean, if you, watch, if you look at the, at the ID patients and how kind of fluid they are, how flexible they are, yeah. how kind of agile they are, this are obviously down to training. Yeah. Down to, you know, long, long, long hours of training, back to back, you know. Uh, that's with Halo, the more you train, the better you are. If you don't train, you won't improve. If you train loads, you'll improve loads. Oh, absolutely. It's all about turning up, working as a team, and doing that training, doing the hard work. If you look at T-Wolves, they were not low down, but they they were just a normal team, competing with normal teams. But now, they started training loads, and they went overtime with Synergy in the last tournament, which they wouldn't have done two months ago. It's all about the, it's all about stamina as well. Yeah. You know, the more games you play, the more matches you play, especially within an, an hour session or two hour session, the more matches you play back to back, the, the more fitter. Yeah. You know? But it's all about, obviously, hard is no different to traditional sports. You still got to do all the physicality training. You know, getting your stamina, eating well, uh, doing your, doing your drills, you know? Yeah. Building your cardio, basically. Because if you're playing, Big tournaments like this, or you know, the championship, it's literally back to back matches. Yeah. And if you can't handle the, the, the fitness, you can't keep it up with the fitness level. That's my problem. After one game, I'm. Oh, it's, it's yeah. tiring. It, it, it is. I mean, like myself, I, if I don't train, well, I'm not playing for ages, you know. I'm, I get tired on the first match. Yeah. The second match, you know, it's hard work, especially when once you go to overtime. Yeah. You, you're in overtime, your legs are gone, you're like yeah, struggling right. to move, yeah. Are they starting Not just yet, no, it's going to start any second. Jim is just fixing his headset. Oh, yeah, it's been a really, really, really good tournament. I'm interested to see how RDK do against this team again. 
I mean, they're, they're going to beat them, but it's how like, it's how the new teams are actually on the stick. We know Ali are going to win, but it's how much by really, isn't it? Yeah, I think they, I think, they can turn, no, they can turn it, turn it on and off basically. Yeah. It depends on the, who they're playing against. It's like synergy. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so let's see how a new team do against Team IDK. One of the best teams in Europe versus a brand new team. Just gonna get the chat back up here, guys. They're not doing the shield thing anymore. Knock on shield, it's good. You don't want to go shields as a new team. You always want to go attack. Just get the basics in before you do anything special. You know what I mean? If they get one, that's an achievement. If they get two. Oh, that guy in the blue just got spawned. They got one two shot. last time, so they want to get three this time. One kill equals ten kills. Oh, so, what, what oh. is this? What's happened? Sorry, the screen. We are in problems with the screen, guys. I'm clicking it. It just won't keep not switching over. So I'm going to keep extra care on it and double check it because it should be switching over. 1302 team IDK. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, guys. It's because the screen, I'll click it and sometimes it won't. Automatically in my head, it switches over and sometimes it won't. So I'm sorry about that. Picking up one kill this time. Maybe they should have just like stuck to start like staying in the front because I think RDK tried harder that time as well. I do think that's what happened. I could tell from the They're moving more, just showing a higher level again. They can always go that extra mile, can't they? I don't think I've ever seen them be tired. I've never seen RDK tired. I mean, or they, Team Boss. They have quite a lot of experience, they played like Lots of international, well, two internationals. Uh, they have. Uh, the boss are up. Yeah, they're in general. Oh, wait. No, you're not. Who are you It's Team No. Wait, why are they twice in a row? Uh, they won't be back tomorrow, just yet. Oh. Wait, does every team play twice in a row? Yeah. But it I won't be in a row because you have oh, a, yeah, there's there's pools, pools, yeah. I didn't even notice. Uh, when is the boss play? So the boss, your next game is Pool A. And it is after Team Blitz, but Team Jan versus RDK. Oh. So it'll be quite a while. About 10 minutes to your next game, yeah. So we have Team No here. Getting ready for that next game. So, Team No, they're a good team. They just came off a defeat to the Rock Hoppers. They've not won a game this tournament. Are they going to get their first win? Well, wait, who's in their pool? Oh, wait, they're in our pool, aren't they? So, they have, they have to play against Rock Hoppers. Boss. So, that's already two really strong teams. I'm not sure about the others. But They've only played the Boss and Rock Hoppers. So they still have a chance to win against two. They've played two of the top four teams this tournament. So they've done it. They've had a really hard group. So have you guys. So have Rock Hoppers. But you guys are more experienced to the harder games today. Because you train against RDK. And Rock Hoppers. And Techno. Do you train with Techno? No. They do it on Wednesdays just before we go training on Wednesdays. Ah. So they do like. I think they're doing, one of them, the two of them are doing uh, uh, 4 to 6, one of them is doing 5 to 7, and then Jake, the one in green shirt, I, I think he goes to 4 to 5. Yeah. I train pretty much every day, I try to anyway. Oh. Try and train every day to get better. My goal is to beat one of Ardigan and one we won. And no. you don't think that's going to happen, I know that. Okay, think about it, they have, they have quite a lot of experience, first of all. Do you have any tips? Uh, I don't really do 1v1, because it's, like, most of the time you're not going to be, like, forced into a 1v1. You're going to play as a team, so improving a 1v1 is not, like, super effective in improving. Rock Hoppers next game, you guys will be against 
Our red hats. Yeah, it'll be the last game, it'll be red hats. It'll be, it'll be when, so it? long, like 30 La minutes. Last game. Oh, okay, so a while. Yeah, it'll be a while. Is there going to be semi and finals after this? Yeah. Both teams are nearly ready. It looks like we'll be starting this game soon. Game has started. Oh, red team has gone shield. So, I believe it is. But it is team no versus team team golden stars. I think. That guy's been one-shot twice in a row, I don't think team, he should push up. Team No have the first five points in the first five seconds, out of, no, first 15 seconds out of five points, it's really good. Team No, this is team's first time playing against Team No, so they're doing quite well. Team No showing no mercy whatsoever, I like it, I like it. It looks like the red team have gone for big, fast bullets, no, loads of big bullets instead of loads of big, fast bullets. Player one needs to put up his shields. I don't, I don't think he's like really understands. That's what I'm saying. New, new players shouldn't go shields because they don't understand how to use them properly. Which is what I've been trying to say because shields are hard, aren't they? I mean, once you play like a few trainings, you'll, I mean, it depends on the hand. It's put on like a bit rock. Like sometimes it's put really far back. So, uh, shielding is inconsistent, so I think. Like start to shoot, stick to shooting because it's like you can't go wrong. Yeah, as long as you don't do this, fine. You gotta do this. Also, it like just improves general aim and like, like a sense of what's going on instead of it, like just focusing on playing up the shield. Because most most like rookies, you always see them like trying to do that, but like eighty percent of the time they can't put up. Yeah. I mean, I, I've been playing four months and I still struggle to do shields. I've never tried to, but that's why really, but I don't ever try to do shields. I know I won't. So I'm not a part of a team, I won't do shields in a 1v1. So I'll only have a 1v1. I, th I think you should practice in a team. I don't have one. I mean... Can't join RDK? When you're, when you're training, I think you should join Norris and see what's happening with them. Like. I, I, I train team now. I'll beat them, yeah. I train all them teams. Well, Me, Ash and Shemai, they're the two main coaches, but if they're not in, I'll train them. And I can. Uh, I'm looking to join, I'll keep asking. Um, I've got a 1v1 with them. Team Synergy. You're gonna 1v1. One one. Well, basically, if one of them can't play, I'll take their spot. So, yeah. technically, I'm not a part of them, but if I need to be, I will be. I'm a conditional sub. If basically they want to keep it just them three, but if one of them can absolutely not play, I'll jump in. Can I join the bus? Uh, we're really five. Am I not good enough? Wait, uh, Am I not good enough? I mean, I'm, seeing you play. I'm not good enough. Don't worry. And also, you're saying you haven't played in a team, so it'll be quite hard to communicate, especially like. Most uh, of us are quite young and small. Uh, I'm, I'm not good enough, don't worry. I'm not good enough to make it Team Synergy. I'd say, you know T-Wolves? I reckon I'll get into T-Wolves. Definitely. Don't they have uh, Tom, who else? They have Harley and Masson. I don't know, but I don't know. I don't know, Tom's team is Wolfpack. Harley and Masson, um, train, Harley, Masson, Owen and Sam are T-Wolves. They're really good players. Oh, that's my kid. Oh, so it looks like red team has gone shields. Wait, it's kind of close this time. Who's got first point on the board? Only one point to start off with. Their shields are actually effective this time. They need to slow down though. They're stacking them. So I got the scoring wrong. There we are, we're back. Three points, yeah, so they are doing better. It's mad how after one game a team can read another team and do so much better. Yeah. Should take a lot of changes. I think that would be yes, you are right, Bluetooth. They're being carried down by their like experience and movement. Look, you see this guy running. He's, yeah. a, he's kind of like running into the bullets. 
Yeah, that's what that's what a lot of new players do. I think they go into the bullet instead of going out. They'll dodge into the bullet like that. They'll go into it. Yeah, I mean that's just what happened with Mo. Obviously, less than a year training is not that much. Exactly, it comes all comes down to experience, and I only train once a week for one hour. Train once on Wednesday, five to seven to two hours, and then once on Saturday, uh, two and a half hours. So I don't think we get that much training either. But. Yeah, a lot of teams. It's the thing is, it's gonna be hard for younger teams to train loads because of school. Yeah, I mean college is even worse. If you have college, like, you're way more busy. You have to revise and do everything. College is hard, I went to college for a bit. College is really hard. Yeah, so I think it's even harder to train, especially if you're in college. Like, IDK, boss, we all started when we're young, so it's more beneficial. And it's just more time to play. And just like, you don't have to think about so much GCSEs or like A-levels. So, when I start training, I'll do a lot more training against pots and I'll put myself on a corner and not leave the corner. That's my training. I'm not allowed to shoot back. It's just how much I can dodge against three level nine bots all on 444. 444? I don't do very well. But it makes it seem easier when I'm against someone not doing it. The whole plan is, even if I struggle, if I can get somewhat good at it, as soon as I play against someone on... 4, 3, 2, 1, I'm going to find it easy, theoretically. Yeah, but I think you should still play with like... 3, 3, 3. No, actual players. I don't, I don't have enough players to play with. Uh, I mean, Team Synergy and that, they don't train locks. How busy... Synergy are really busy. Uh, what do they do? They coach, they work at Haddo, don't they? So they work, they coach everyone, they have fitness classes to run, they have a bunch of other stuff to do, so they don't have time. To train. That's me because of what I do. I've got a bit more time to train because I make videos and I make streams. If there's no content to make, I've got free time. So in my free time, I train to get better. So my content gets better. So if I'm better at a game, my content gets better. So theoretically, if like I like the stream, they were like, better than someone who didn't know the game as much. Pardon? So theoretically, if since like IDK are quite good, like they understand the game, surely like their stream would be quite good as well. If IDK did stream, they'd say know what to look for, they can say that's bad, that's good. Whereas if you put someone who doesn't know the game on the game and get them to say commentate this, they can't commentate it well. So the better I get, the better I can commentate it, but he did this that way, so it's not as good. It's like you could probably commentate good as well, because you've got, he shouldn't have gone that way, he should have gone that way. Like I said, we're running into the bullets, because you know what you're doing, you can say stuff like that. It takes quite long to start the game. Uh, we've got a trouble with a bit of lighting, which is why it's taking a while to start the game. Lighting. And it's just getting the kids on. This is Team IDK, first team, Jan. 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 Jan, is it Jan? Probably. Most likely, because I think it's. I, I remember having a friend, and their name was uh, Jan, and it was spelled like that, and they said it was. Just like. Uh, what's it called again? Uh, it's like an X, like a weird letter. Silent letter. Yeah. We're just having some problems with the eye, we're just fixing the eye real quick, and then we'll be into a game. Yeah. Why not? Right. Looking at the scoreboards now, it's looking like. For me, it's looking like it's going to be a boss RDK final. I could be wrong, but that's what it's looking like to me. The Rock Opens could still get to the final. Tom said RDK's winning. I think RDK are going to lose. 20. That's, no, that's way too much. 19. Who's one of the new lads? 18. No, they should be losing reasonable. Uh, that would be one of the key. If they're going to shield, 5-2. They'll lose by 5-2. Two. Two. I don't think it's possible for them to lose this game, personally. It's, I think RDK are going to win this. Yeah. 
the thing is, it's not impossible. It just it will take a miracle. Yeah. Miracles do exist. I love miracles, I think miracles exist. Alright, let's see what happens here. How how would RDK do against the newest team here? Hello. Ten seconds into the match and the first point on the board for RDK. Two points in now, three points in for RDK. RDK on four points in, 15 seconds into the match and RDK just taking their time, serving energy for the final, for the semi-finals. Seven points in, a new team holding their own quite well. They need to start moving more, they're quite idle, so it's quite easy for RDK to get the points on them. Is that okay? 10 0 to RDK, halfway through the match. Uh, this is me. I don't, I don't know what to say. I thought it would be the other way around, if I'm being honest. Bit of sarcasm there. Uh, I mean, RDK are losing right now. Let's play you. No, they're not. They're winning. I know. I'll take a joke. Don't worry. RDK are winning 17 now. Let's just get 20 points. So what I'm surprised about, well, I, I, player, I'm actually kind of surprised. Like, I, I don't think they should have won by this point. I think they should have only won by like... No knockouts here from... Um, get one of the boards. I think they should have only won by like 12. Zero twenty two. You know what? It's a respectable scoreline because RDK are again such a good team. You don't expect a new team to be able to put up against five. So zero two, it's not like it's a bad result result if you know what I'm trying to say. What does change grey cells mean? Don't change grey cells. Oh, oh no, change. So you can only type in there. Oh. Right, so let's change that. What's the next game? Is it I think Synergy coaching playing in. Is, I personally, it's just my opinion. I think it's good because it gets Synergy more, more out of control. Because if a team wants to beat Synergy, yes, Synergy coaching them. But if a team wants to beat Synergy, it's going to be hard. It's going, it's a milestone. If a team, if a team beats Synergy, it means Synergy have done a good job of coaching them because. No, I'm saying if, if Synergy coach a team and then that team beats Synergy, it means Team Synergy are good coaches and the team gets better. Yeah. Which is what's um, happening. A bunch of teams are getting Synergy's level now. Yeah. So it's really good. Like the previous tournament, just like just a week ago, they were, wasn't there almost a draw with like T-Wolves or something? Like T-Wolves would have won, though, um, but, though, um, was it a draw Syn with T-Wolves? Uh, so yeah. Synergy, and T Wolves went overtime, and it was the last. Literally, they would nearly won it. If the bullet was one second faster, T Wolves would have won. No. Would have been the biggest upset in all of Haddo history. Not really. I, I not, don't know a lot of history. Not Haddo history. Like the biggest upset I've seen, I should say. Haddo regional. I've not seen any big upsets yet. The biggest upset I've seen was Titans beating you guys. They did. They got a game off you. They didn't win the whole thing, but they got one game off you, which is big. Yeah. Uh, in the first tournament of the year. You guys won the set, but they got one round off you, didn't they? What do you think the predictions oh, are for what we the, the open? Yeah, the open one. How many, how many points did you get in the open? You did really well in the first one, didn't you? You did quite well. Ben, what's your prediction for our one? Uh, I'm not going to say. I want to keep it a surprise. I'll tell the stream. We played two years ago, I won. It's 1-1, one, one, five seconds in, 2-1. They've got a point on RDK. they actually got a point before RDK, which is quite impressive. Yeah, I don't know how. Oh, he's, he's on the floor. He's, he's not used to like getting up and down. Right? Yeah, you got to use your ankles to get up and down, don't you? You can't use your knees. Or you use one foot. His, uh, he needs to work on his balance, I think. Wait. Can Good we, stuff here from the new what, team. What does the chat say? 
111. Am I allowed to hold it? Just for one second. 113 to Arlequin. Okay. The new team is doing quite well against, uh, again, one of the best teams in England. So you can't really, you can't really argue that it's got two points on Arlequin, which is really impressive for any team, let alone a new team. RDK on 21 points. RDK on 25 points now. RDK just working away up, getting those points. Maybe getting to 28 points, 26 points. Can I get 28 points? RDK got 27 points, 2 2. It's a respectable scoreline there for both teams. I think one kill equals 15 kills, so RDK actually lost by three. Uh, that's fair. The next game is Golden Stars versus the Boss. Oh no! Get up, get ready to play. Let Good me, luck. Let, let me do a prediction. What, what do you think? Who do you think is gonna win? Uh, Golden Stars. By how much? One nil. One nil. They're gonna win more than one nil. Oh, but in the in the round. Yep. What do you think in total? 1-0. But you need to play two rounds to win. No, I'm saying they're going to win 1-0. They're going to get one point and win. Alright, right, good luck, guys. I'll probably cheer you on. He's going to cheer me on. Alright, good luck, guys. Alright, so here we have the boss going up against the Golden Stars. Bit interesting tournament here. Interesting game here between both teams. The Boss are one of the favourites to win the tournament along with RDK and the Rock Hoppers. So, it's new team here, and not under a lot of pressure, but in all honesty, under some pressure to win the game. But well, I was really a lot of pressure because I'm trying to think of the word, but it's not pressure to win the game, it's just when you're playing a good team you feel pressure to do well because you know we're a good team, you know you want to do well. You want to impress the good teams, you know what I mean? You want a new team to look at you and think, well that, that team's got potential. That's what they want to do. They want to think they want that team to look at them and go, they've got potential. They want the boss to look at them and think of them as a threat, you know what I mean? So for me, I want Paris or Milo or someone on the bus, just, or Ash or Shamar to look at me and think, yeah, he's a good player, he could potentially beat me if I'm not careful. If you get what I mean. Looks like the boss are going. The new team are going big bullets, and it looks like the boss are going. They're not giving anything away, the boss aren't, from what I'm seeing at the minute. That new team is definitely going big bullets. The boss going 5 3 or 4 4 by the looks of it there. Three, four, okay. It's going to be an interesting match here for the boss and the new team. Boss have the first point on the board as expected. Can the new team catch up? Can the new team get a point? Slow bullets against the experience. Seems like boss is not a good idea. The boss will always get points. Ten points for a boss. What, the boss, what score? What score predictions for the boss? Chat. Can everyone put the score predictions for what they think the boss is going to get in the chat? This game. Thank you. I keep clicking it and it's not turning. Thank you so much for reminding me. Thank you. I'll send me a switch screen. It's because I click it and it just sometimes doesn't change. Because my brain's so wild for it to change, I don't second check it, so it's my bad. My brain, my brain's wired to not double check it, so I need to keep double checking it. So that's my bad, guys. 
26 points here for the bus, 27 points for the bus. You're about to be close, 29-0, 30 points, they've gone past your points. Thirty-three zero, thirty-four, thirty-four zero for the bus. I think that is the biggest scoreline of the tournament, and it has gone to the bus. Thirty-four zero. That is the biggest defeat of the tournament, going to the Golden Stars. Just putting the points in now, guys. Give me one second. Really good there from. Really good there from the bus. Really impressive. Really dominant performance from them. Let's see if the boss can recreate that or the new team, Golden Stars, can limit the scoreline down a bit and try and stop deficit. That was a good game. Like the boss, they didn't miss. That was really good there from the boss. Lose, shoot fast, don't miss. What Red Team did wrong there was they went for slow bullets and against a team like the boss, you need fast bullets. They're going to dodge slow bullets. You got to be fast. No, no, no. The boss that was just interviewed was literally standing in the corner of the front line. He's probably trying to take the wild tree to get in. When they were, you could do stuff easily. The only way when you want to use slow bullets is you've got big things, orbs, so that when you shoot and it, people dodge and come back into it, but as they're slow, they walk into it. That's it. What tips would you give to the new team? Is that move. the biggest tip? Just move loads. Move. You I are right. So they, if they don't move, they're getting hit. Identified oh. teams that are uh, Screen switch this time, guys, the way. I had to double click it, but it did switch. Oh, boss, I've got two points in the first four seconds. Can the boss get more than 35? I don't know what the record is, but let's see if the boss can get the record for most points in a single game. I'll double check. Let's see what the boss has. I believe the record is somewhere in the 30s for an in-tournament game. Let's see if the boss can break that record. Really impressive stuff here. The other team need to move. The other team don't want to keep standing still. It might be, they might be struggling. They might be, you know, having a bad time. But, but not having a bad time. It might be, it's tomorrow. Get hit loads of that. It's not good. It doesn't help. But, it's experience that one, I'm trying to say. So in their heads, they're not liking it, they're getting, they're getting defeated big time. But I can't explain it other than to, to get better, you've got to lose. And it's the experience, they know now, they're going to come back, they're going to watch it back, and they're going to be like, why is I standing still so much? Why is I not moving? If that makes any more sense. 37 points for the boss, I believe they're about to get 40. Exactly, this player's gone shields, he's got five shields, and not used one shield, which is the problem. 42 points, 43 points, 44 points for the boss, 44 to 2. That's Brilliant going to be game. Said... That is one of the most dominant performances I've ever seen from any team in Haddo. That, that was, that's a good performance on the boss. I think that's the biggest scoreline I've seen. I don't know if it's the biggest scoreline we've ever had, but it might be the biggest score. It's definitely the biggest one I've seen. That is, hands down, the best. Up next, we have, on pool B, Team Jan versus Team Techno, or Team Jan versus Team Techno. This could be a good game. Techno are favourites to win it. However, there's always a chance. What's the game, Techno now? They're up against Team Jan. That was a really good game. Yad. Yad are good for a... Um, Big score, well, it's a massive score. What's your predictions for this game? This game, I think... Exact score prediction for Techno versus Team Yan. 11-3. Is that it? Okay, okay. The little squad who's my age... Um, I reckon Techno get... 14 points this game. The youngest one is my age. So it's made quite a few hours by me. 
shows that IDK is not even trying. Yeah. To be fair, yeah. Because obviously, the boss and IDK are very similar skill level. IDK probably top it over the boss. So if the boss can get 44, I don't imagine what IDK can get. IDK can probably get 50. You know what I mean? If the boss can get 44, IDK can get 50. But at the same time, the fact the boss got 44 is so impressive. So impressive. Is that a world record? I've no idea because I don't know what the previous record was, but that was a very, very high score. Us, yeah. Everyone in chat said it's the biggest score line we've seen. Yeah, I'd say it quite possibly is. Yeah. Well, on the plus side, given how good the boss are, their opponent's got two points that's on That's what I'm saying, yeah. And that, that's what I'm going to take there. Yeah. <laughs> two points against any of the good teams like yeah, the boss are. Yeah, and their, 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 their opponents there is their very, very first tournament. They've never played before. It was before. their first time playing today. Exactly. They've, they've literally... <laughs> They, you know, they are a total novice team here. As I said, we've got this massive split between novice teams and super experienced in this particular tournament. There are novice teams the very first time playing. Yes, the opponents got a lot of points on them. Yes, it was a huge amount of points. And they got two points. But they got two as a novice team on a work on a on an international class team. They're gonna watch it back and they're gonna be yes. like, I'm gonna move and next time they can get four points. Okay, so, in the next Correct, yeah. okay, so we've uh, slightly cycled on the matches. This is now going to be Mystic versus Techno rather than um, Gold. Golden versus Techno. No, it was Jan. Jan, sorry, Jan. versus Techno. Yep. It is Jan, isn't it? Yep. Like so, yep, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So Jan, Jan and Mystic matches have been flipped over. So this is Mystic versus Techno. Okay. You guys heard that? Jack or Bootube said, new tips, you want to dodge, you don't, oh, if it's your first time playing, you don't want to use shields, because shields are a bit more advanced, you want to learn the basics before you do the hard parts of Hado. If you learn the basics, you can do the good parts, like, like that, it's easy, you know what I mean? I, I see for big teams, they're going like, they get a shield up, they, the smart Japanese, this is one of the Japanese strategies, well, um, you've got one assassin, two shielders, one of the shielders is shielding you, the other is a vacuum shielder, they put them up for you, allow to well evade, and but the other shield dodges, and actually, the way they do it is the evasion um, shielder jumps up when they raise the shield, and the other shield goes down when they do the shield. You know what I think as well? What? I can't describe it and then there's something about this tournament here where you got the new teams, the atmosphere is positive. All the new teams are making a really positive atmosphere. Yeah. There's so, no there's no fight, there's no really sad they're having a good time. Otherwise some of the teams that have had their guts since then. There's no big that's, that's all, Yeah, that's the word I'm trying to say. They that team which just lost 44 to 2 are still here and are still having a good time. I can still hear them laughing and having fun, which is what's good. They're not getting demoralised, they're still having fun. It's good because they're going to learn from it. Yeah. If, if, they, if the boss went easy on them, they wouldn't learn. They would think they did better than they did. They've got to learn. There is a skill tap between them and the boss. Yeah. And they've got to catch up to the boss. They should aspire to be able to have a close game against the boss. That should be their goal. I'm, I'm surprised we've not got a noise complaint yet from the golfers. From the atmosphere here today, it is better than most of the Wolf Road tournaments. It is so loud and amazing. People are having to shout to talk. I can't even hear myself think, honestly. I'm going to talk a few technical problems here. Uh, struggling to get his wrist piece on or trying to fix his phone. We'll find out soon, but it should start soon. Food in the chat there. Um, well done to all teams, yeah, especially. I'm trying to figure out what stats they're going. Can you tell? It's looking like Team Techno are going 4 3 2 1 or even 4 5 5 2 2 or 5 3. I can't tell. But it looks like 4 3 2 1. What do you reckon? Five, two, 
43, sorry. 43. Well, it's going 43, well, it's going 5, 3, 1, 1. The other one's going 2, 5. No, 2, 2, 5, 1. Is that your predictions? Yeah, for the stats. It looks like they're going shields. They're, the new team is going shields. That's, it's not work for any other team, but let's see if it can work for this team. Have they done it? Both teams have gone shields. Both teams have gone shields. Techno have got the first point on board. Will the new team answer back? They need to get their shields down. Techno needs to get behind that shield. He needs to listen to his teammates. Good movement. Now they can't all go behind a shield though. They have to have two minimum behind a shield. Only two. This is what I mind by having They're sitting at the front line. The others are staying back and holding the ball. Can't have six points on the board. Are they going to concede a point in this game or will they have a clean shoot? You know, there's loads shouting here for Team Techno. Everyone wants Team Techno to do amazing. It is 9 0 to Techno with 38 seconds. 37 seconds left to go. Can the new team get a point? Good shield there from the new team. A bit of pushing and shoving going there. Good movement there from Techno, good shield placement. Seen a bit of a tactic there, putting them in the corner like that. Really good tactics there from Techno. 13 0, 14 0 to Techno, surely. 14 0 Techno, can they make it to 15? Can they get to 18 0 by four game finishes? Can they get another three KOs? The new team has got a point against Techno, that's really good for the new team. 1 15 to the new team. To Techno, that's really, really good. Really impressive from Techno, really mature plays there from them, and really good stuff from the new team. Yeah, the new team, one of their main things is the damage. Go, you should go and coach Techno. Go and coach them, go and help them. Not Techno, not Techno, the new team. Go and help the new team, go and coach them as an experienced player. We've got Tommy to go and coach the new team, because he knows what to do, he's got to tell them. They'll listen to Tom, he's one of the oldest players in Europe. Exactly. Those new teams did really well there, especially against Techno. Techno is a brilliant young team and they're really, really improving. Every time I see their, get their skill levels going like that, all the way up, it's really, really impressive. And that new team held their own, got a point, and that's really impressive as well. Really good stuff from both teams. Techno, you too, though. I think Techno are four months old. Four or three months. I know Techno are fairly new. I think Techno are really new as well. Techno are... I think Techno have been playing the same amount of time as me, if not slightly shorter. Techno are really good for how new they are as well. The movement, you can see they're getting similar movement patterns to suit RDK and the boss. Using the legs and that. So you can definitely see where the same training is coming in. Yeah. They train with each other about at least two hours a week. Techno don't train with the boss, I don't think, or RDK. I think they have separate training days. Mm. They've got a very unique way of dodging. So do you. Yes. You've got a uh, run around head, like run around, but it looks like you're running around like this chicken, but everything you're doing isn't, you'll know what you're doing. It's not like you're just running around for the sake of it. You know where you're running. You know what you're doing. Both teams are nearly ready here, just waiting on a couple more people to press that green button. For the new people, not even some old people may know this. When you're smaller, like my height, you're going to be at a disadvantage because your life markers are overlapping. So they can still hit you if they aim at the bottom of your life marker. Alright, the blue team and red team both are nearly ready now. Both teams get in there. There we are, the game is starting, let's go. Let's see if Team Techno can have a repeat of the last one. Thank you AI Sports for the confirmation of that. But you can still see the same movements in them. There's really good players coming out of Techno. Uh, they're gonna grow up to be really, really, really good players. It's 1-1 one, one, though, the new team has got a point. This, this could be a close game here. Techno do have more experience, therefore should win it, but this could be a close game. That's a good shield there from the new team. 
the Techno have got an next point on the board. It is 2 1 2 Techno. 50 seconds in, 3 1 to Techno. Techno are taking away now. Techno are taking the lead. Five one to Team Techno. Five one Team Techno. Can they have an effective score on last time? Two six. The other team have got two points on the board. That's really impressive from the new team. Three six. Really, really impressive from the new team. Four six. Four seven. Four eight. Really good stuff from both teams. Techno should win this. Techno have more experience. Techno are all in all the better team. But the new team getting six points is really, really impressive against a team like Team Techno, one of the better teams of the tournament, really. 7-11. 7-12. Techno have got this in the bag, but that was a really good show and performance from the other team. Mystic Legends. Wow. Really good stuff there from Mystic Legends. I believe we're now going to have Pool A. Red Hats versus The Boss. The boss are up. The boss are up. Okay, well, I'll try turning them and uh, I don't think they heard me. That was a really good team. Exactly. One match can change your entire play style. You realise something, you're like, oh, okay, I'll play like this now. You think about it, you come back and you're stronger. So I like, they got, they got beat, but they didn't come back demoralised. They, they came back and did even better. That was a good game. That was a really good game, given, given the different experience in two, between the two teams. Yeah. That, that was really, really good. Um, did not expect it to go that, that close. That was, you know, very, very good work there from them. Uh, so, we've Red Hat got... Boss. Yeah, Red, Red Hat Boss next. And after that, it's Mystic Legends. No, no. So that'll be, uh, be the Jan Techno game. Yeah. Because that was the Mystic Techno game. Yeah. So we're coming, coming to the final few games of the pool stages now. So two, two in, uh, yeah, two in each pool to go. Cool. So only four more sets to go before we go to the semi-finals and the finals of this tournament. Not long left to go, guys. Some really good performances from a bunch of different teams this tournament. Really good stuff from everyone. I'm really impressed with all the new teams, all the experienced teams. Everyone has just had an amazing tournament and it's been brilliant to watch. Absolutely brilliant. Almost with Charles playing, me watching makes me want to play because I want to be in there doing my moves up, down, left, right, seeing if I can play. I do have a match today against Paris. Probably going to get absolutely destroyed, but like I said, it's all about experience. When he beats me, I'll know what not, not to do next time, and I'll try not to do it. Still probably lose, but it's experience, and experience is so good. Always good to have experience. I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. So just wanted to... The boss. I've already done it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Do you want to do a bit quick interview? No, no, yeah. Okay. So, after this game, we're going to get that... Mystic and, yeah. No, Team Jan versus... No, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, young mate. Yeah. You enjoying it? Yeah. yeah. What team are you? Sorry. All right. Game's going to start soon. It's Team Red Hat versus Team The Boss. Team Red Hat have been quite impressive. They've played a couple games before this, but not me. No. I don't yet know. I imagine I could find it. Uh, right now, yeah, I do know. Right now, pool A, on pool A, the boss are winning. Yeah. Team now a second. Yeah. On pool B, it's, wait, no, pool A, the rock hopper should not be losing. Make sure we have the right scores. We do have the right scores, yeah. Oh, it's because Team Noah played one more game, one more set. That's why. Alright, here we are. The boss versus Red Hats. Let's see how this game goes. Yep, 
The Rock Hoppers are second, guys. I got that wrong. Rock Hoppers are second. Boss are first. Rock Hoppers are second in Pool A. But they've got a point against the Boss, which is quite impressive for a first-time team. Really good stuff there from the Red Hats. It's the first tournament team, I should say. Doing that distraction tactic again. Not seeing it from the other angle. It's quite an interesting tactic, doesn't You need to move your body, not just your arms, if you're going to do that type of tactic. He's here to have fun, though, by the way. He's enjoying himself, which is most that matters. Twenty-one, two, three. With 30 seconds left to go, the boss are putting in yet another really impressive scoreline here. Not as good as their 44, but still 24, 25 is so impressive. Could even get up to 30 here. Really impressive stuff here from both teams. 32 to three. Both the fact they got three points is quite impressive. 34. 2-3, can they get to 36? Can they break the 40 mark for the second time tournament? 36-5, it's not looking like they'll break the 40 mark, but they got 36 points again, which is just ridiculous. <laughs> 36 2 in favour of the boss that time round. Really impressive performance from both teams, really good stuff from both teams and yeah, a really impressive game all round. Over two seconds guys. Alright, I'll be one second guys. Alright, so it's looking like the boss this time are going to aim to beat that record they just set. Oh, this team's shown a bit more fight than last team, so let's see if the boss can, well, in other words, pull it back. Let's see if the boss physically can do it, or whether it's... Well, it, I don't know. Well, if I pull it back, I mean physically get more points than they did last time round. See if they can beat 44, because that's the stat. They know they're going to win, but how much can they win by this time round? They're doing really, really, really well. I want to see if we can get 50 points in one game. If we get 50 points in one set, that would be absolutely amazing. The boss has one. The boss is missing one player. We're just waiting for them to get ready for us to go into the next match. Here we are. The boss's player is back, and the game will start any second now. The match can start in five. Four, three, two, one, go. How good was that? How good was that? How good was that? Right, so very high charge match here from the red team. The boss going for quite attacking stats. Let's see if they can beat that score. Already got two points in the first three seconds. Brilliant showing from the boss. Red team, I've got a point though. Caught one of them off guard. That was really good there. 6-1 to the boss. Can the boss get there? 50 points. Good shot there. 2-8 to the boss. Three twelve to the boss. The boss actually not got as many points as the last time, but again, I think they're conserving their energy for the final because they don't want to go all out before the final. Eighteen four to the boss. The boss just taking it easy, by the way. It doesn't even look like they're going to the next gear yet. No three sixty there. Really, really good stuff from the boss. I might get someone to come over and do an interview for maybe RDK. If you don't have a game straight away after this, do RDK have a game after this? No, we do not. Okay. At thirty two, they actually got a better score. I was wrong. They actually got a better score, or no, a slightly worse score than last time. That is still really impressive. 34 to 5. Brilliant scores from both teams there. We now have Team Techno versus the Jan in this next game. Do we have someone to come over for an interview? Sorry, I'm just trying to find someone who would want to come over and do an interview with the great uh, Ben. See if I
Oh, I caught someone out. All right, here we have a member of the Rock Hoppers. Hello, I'm with the Rock Hoppers. Now, you guys had a game in a tournament against Team No. Sorry? You had a game in a tournament against Team No. Did we? Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. what went wrong in that second game? Well, I think the main thing is Sam, who was in the middle, in the first game he went one three five, and I think that was really useful because there's big bullets and there's a lot of them, and they don't need to be fast, they just need to like break them up, and he didn't do that in the second game, and I think that's what lost us it, to be honest. The team though, as a whole team are really good, but if you can selectively get them apart, you win, and you guys yeah. are a lot more experienced than them. Yeah. So we guys again did really well, you came back, you won, and you showed why experience always wins. Yeah. So if you didn't have that experience, I think Team No won. Probably, yeah. I mean, you're a World Cup player, aren't you? Yeah, I'm a World Cup player. World Cup player here. Along with Alex as well. Alex, yeah. And obviously you had Harris, Harris, Milo and Ghost. Yeah. 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 I'll just make sure, sorry. We're still getting new surnames and bad with names. Yeah. Really good tournament here though for, from everyone. Who's your favourite team which has just started? If you have a new team, which one's your favourite one? Well, as in like new as in they've just started today or uh, like that I've not seen before? One you've not seen before? Well, I haven't seen no before and they were actually really good to be honest. Um, yeah, I think they definitely know what the, what like the <laughs> parameters are. Like Team no know what to three, do. Three, three, two, three, two, four, four, three, two. Um, three, four, two. They're, they're all really strong parameters, and they were going that, so they definitely know what they're doing. Yeah. Would you say next time, what, you, what stats would you use next time to beat them, or do you use the same stats you did? Well, I think in the first game, I got like five kills on four. You four, did four, really one, well one. in the first game. You battled yeah. them. It, uh, well, it really depends what everyone else is going. I think if I have a spammer, I'd probably go four, four, one, one. If I didn't, I'd, I'd go. 432 or 342. Respectful stats, respectful yeah. stats. Not like us, but my favourite stats are 5311. 5, 5 I've tried that before. It's really hard to get the hang of though. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah. Here we have the game. This is Team Techno versus Team Jan. Let's team see how Team Jan can do. Yeah, really well done against um, Team No. Yeah, yeah. So that was a hard game to win and you won it. So good yeah. stuff. And you got a game off the boss as well. You nearly beat, you nearly beat the boss as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. 1-1 one, one here, you know. It's a close game. Team Jan could pull it away a bit. I don't think they will, but there's always a possibility. Team Techno have got the next two points. Team Techno showing a lot of skill here. Three points out already. Someone in the chat said hello to you. Hello. Uh, I think it's Sasha. Uh, hi, Sasha. Hi, Sasha. If it is. 7 3 2 uh, Team Techno. Again, what we expect Team Techno to come out, maybe get conceded a couple of points, but to win. It's still a close game. Team Shan, first ever tournament, they're going, coming across a really good team and are doing really well. Again, Team Techno, not that experienced of a team, but more slightly more experienced than this team, so it's the result you expected, isn't it? Yeah. I think 2-2-5-1 was definitely a good move from Techno. Yeah, good charge is useful, especially if you've got high attack. We've got to play with confidence because they know they're better than the team and they've got to show that they're better than yeah. the team, which they have done really well. Cool. All right, see ya. See ya. We're going to round two of Team Techno versus Team Yan. This game got delayed slightly and it is back now though, so don't worry about it. Alright, so I reckon this time Team Yan could try and catch my card because I don't think Techno will go high charge. So I want Yan to go at least one shield out. I know I say new team shouldn't do it, but they should try it this time because. What, what's there to lose? It's all about experimenting, you know? All about experimenting. Yeah. 
Now, chat, what's your guys' favourite team you've been in this tournament? What's your team which you like, you for some reason have a soft spot for? What team do you guys have soft spots for? For me, my team, it's probably Team Techno. I don't know why. The first tournament they came to, uh, I think it was the UK Championships 2023. I really, really, I, just don't, I don't know, I just liked them. There's something about them I like. They're a good team, and I think they've got potential to be a really, really good team. That's my, for me, team of the tournament is Team Techno or Team No for me. I agree with that, Boo Tube. They need to go backwards, they need to go forwards, they need to do a bunch of other things. Game has started. There we are, double click is there. Who's going to first point going on the board? Techno already had a member on one movement, but brilliant head movement there. One life mark, sorry. One one, both teams are here. Team No have potential as well. Team No don't train as much as your teams and still keep up with other teams, which is so just. Once a week for an hour, they train and they're doing really well. So yeah, team team no have potential. This is a close game though. Four six. Techno are slightly on the back foot. They are winning, but they have a chance to lose this game. I don't think they will, but there is a nineteen percent chance. Five eleven two. Uh, Techno here. Techno are pulling away and when a team like Techno pull away you're not going to pull back if you're not experienced enough to come back. You don't have the demeanour to come back because you haven't played enough games to Haddo. To, come, to make a comeback you have to know what you're doing and if it's your first ever tournament you don't have the experience to make a comeback yet. You know? 17-5, 2 team Techno. Really good stuff from Techno. 19-5 and will they get to 20? 95 is the last score for that game, brilliant showing from both Techno and Team Yang. Both teams did excellent. Techno on 19 points again. We now have on pool A, Team Red Hats versus Team Rock Hoppers. The final two sets are coming into play now. I'm going to see if I can... Uh, Do you want to do an interview? What are you doing? Uh, we're live on YouTube. You're commentating. I'm trying to. Oh, you can just watch it through this. So, what, what are you guys thinking of your first tournament? It's good. It's good? Yeah, it's, it's really, really fun. Wait, so you can talk to me? Yeah, I'm talking. I'm commentating now. What on that TV? Uh, I'm watching on here and that TV. You've got two different angles I'm watching on. So is that live? Uh, like, yes, live. Yeah. It's on YouTube. We're on YouTube at UK Haddo. Drop us follow we're nearly at 10k. UK Haddo. Yeah. I'm going to talk about that. UK Haddo. Okay. It's live right now. Yeah. We're nearly at 10k followers. We're getting there. Are doing you doing really well. um, commentating? I'm commentating right now. Yeah. Wait. So he's you, actually a good commentator. Wait. So you can see you live. Hello. They can see you now. They can see me now. Hello. If you come here, you'll be on screen. <laughs> Thank you, Boo Do you want to be on camera? Um, okay. But there you are. If you're on camera, you are. So, how are you, how are you finding your first tournament? It's very fun. Um, I enjoyed it. Yeah? Right, just double check. I think this is the last match of Pool A, is that right? This is the last match of Pool A, Rock Hoppers versus Red Hats. Yep, and then last match of Pool B, and then we're on to the semi finals. Yeah. So you're Before we go to the semis, can you cover for one minute while I refill a drink? You want everything you do. No! Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> right. Hello, guys. So, uh, just covering while Ben's uh, quickly gra grabbing some liquid to keep his throat going. Just waiting for the teams to finish getting their uh, selves logged in for this next round. And so let's see how they're doing. So teams just getting themselves uh, prepped at now. So this is the, the final match now of Pool A. Uh, I believe uh, Boss are already through. I believe if Rock Hoppers take this match, uh, then they're also through and they'd be our two semi finalists from Pool A. And Pool B. See, IDK are already through, and it looks like Techno 
uh, are likely to be the next team going in. Look at that. Yeah, it looks like it be IDK and Techno from uh, Paul B. And um, Boss and Rockhoppers from Pool A going through to the semi finals. Right, so just waiting for the teams to uh, get themselves logged and ready. So got a couple of blue players just got it. Uh, a couple of blue players just get themselves uh, activated and ready to go. How are you finding the first tournament? How fun is this? It's like the first Southern tournament. Yeah, well, it's not well, so it's first, first Southern Regional. Uh, obviously, we've already had a, a Brighton sanctioned tournament uh, so far this season. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a London sanctioned. Probably not before the the next the first national on April 14th, uh, but between the between those next sets of nationals. Uh, and also, the five Bright five London teams we've had competing today. It's their very first tournaments. So they're really really new to the sport. So, all right, they haven't done as well as obviously the more experienced teams, but they put up some really good showings and there's some really good base skill to work with. And, and hopefully, they'll they'll that'll step up as we go tournament to tournament. And they are getting. But you're back in the seat. And they are getting points off of the teams as well. Yeah, so really good. Techno had made it for the ball stage, yes. Techno are, again, doing really, really well this tournament. And I reckon they have a chance to get to the final. I do. It's going to be hard, but I reckon they've got a chance. Right, 1 0, 2. I believe that is Team, team Rock Hoppers versus Team Red Hats. Welcome back. I'm back. I've got my water with some ice. How are you guys? Alright, the game has started. Let's flip over. Sorry about that, guys. It didn't flip over again. Yep. 20th of April. What's it just called Brighton Cup? Yeah, okay. As soon as the game's finished, I'll do it. Actually, if you come, we'll do it together. Yeah? How much followers do uh, we have 10,000. I've got Scott contact this game, so it'll be two seconds. 10,000? Uh, so it's 15 to 1, or get into 10,000, we're 100 off. It is 15 to 1, 16 to 1. Team Rock Up is again showing why they're such an experienced team. 19 to 1, 17 to 20, 21, 20 to 20, 21 to 22. The scores keep updating, so I'm not going to keep saying a sore name. It's a really, really, really good showing from a new team against a really experienced team in the Rock Hoppers. It's, it's Team Yans, no, Team Red Hat's first ever tournament and they got two points off to Rock Hoppers who are such an experienced team. So really good stuff, Team Red Hat's and good stuff, Rock Hoppers, like always. That is the final game, possibly, of Pool A. about it thank you so guys I've got a question for you one last question I know that's a lot of questions this tournament but but now here's my theory if a team was to beat RDK today well by the team I mean the boss if the boss were to beat RDK today what do you reckon the scoreline would be because obviously the upset would be the boss winning RDK because RDK are the better team So if there was the upset and the boss did win, how close would the game be? Exactly. Exactly. Both teams, some of the teams today are playing against World Cup players. And your first ever tournament, you're playing against World Cup players. You know how impressive that is and how hard that is to even compete with. So really well done to all the teams. If they're going to win, it's going to be overtime, next point, and it's going to be one point wins it. And that's if it goes to overtime, because it is a big if, because obviously RDK is so, so good. RDK is six, RDK, the boss eight, I respect that, I respect that. Always going to be a low score line, because they're so hard, because players in the boss and RDK are so hard to hit, that the score line's never going to be massive, because it's hard, you can't get points off them, because they can't be hit. Oh, the game is starting 3 2 1 go. The game has started. Has anyone gone shields? No one has gone shields. It is all out attack. Red team has gone high charge, and the blue team, Rock Hoppers, have gone attack. Red hats, let's see how the red hats can do. 
We have a, we're going to reset the game because one of the players was not in properly on the red team. I'm going to go back to my face real quick. We'll get into this game as quick as possible. Actually, guys, let's give an update on the subscriber count. We're on 9,910. 9 so, if we, by the end of the day, we can get 10,000 subscribers, that'll be amazing, guys. Uh, and thank you to everyone who has subscribed and watched all and watched our videos. It's uh, it's amazing. We were at a hundred and summit just two months ago, and we're now at t nearly 10k. So it's a big milestone, and thank you to everyone. It's really good. Do you want to do an interview? Get in the hot seat. All right. So this is your first ever tournament. Yeah. How are you finding it? It's very good. Yeah. What's your favourite team you played against? Uh, techno, they're very defensive. Yeah? yeah? So you like Team Techno? Yeah. Everyone says that. Do you think you guys have done well? Yeah. I think you've done it brilliant. You're playing against World Cup players, playing against some of the best players in the country and holding your own. So you're doing really well. It doesn't well, get, come here again, definitely. It doesn't get much better than these teams. So, yeah. I, did, I thought there would be like, like grown people, not like my age and stuff. Yeah. 12 year olds and stuff. It's a growing sport, so the age is growing as well. Yeah. So all these players in a couple of years will be grown. But we'll always have that income. All right, I'm gonna get back to commentating, thank you. And uh, enjoy the rest of the tournament. Okay, you too. Right. Oh, so no one has gone shields by the looks of it. Exactly, BooTube, exactly. The only bomb points win a game I had out. It's 3-0 now. 70 seconds in, the Rock Office have got three points. Will this be the final game of the pool stages on pool A? Sorry about that, guys. I need to have a drink of water. No, well, they've got a point on the board. Impressive for them to get a point on the board against a team with such experience as the Rock Office. My first time seeing them play, and to be honest, I'm very, very surprised. Thirteen three, fourteen three. Rock Hoppers again, just racking up that score. Really, really good stuff here from the Rock Hoppers, showing why they are one of the best teams in Europe. Probably top five, if not top four teams in Europe. Synergy. It's always a battle between Synergy and Rock Hoppers. Always close games. From what I've heard, Rock Hoppers have a bit of an advantage, but you never know. You never know. 20 to 4, 21 to 5. Getting 5 points on the Rock Hoppers is so good. Really, really, really good stuff getting 5 points on the Rock Hoppers. Especially this late in tournament. They're tired. It's first out of tournament. The stamina's going to be low. They're going to be hurting. And they've got 5 points on the Rock Hoppers. Really good stuff Red Hats and really good stuff Rock Hoppers for, again, getting 26 points. Good stuff, guys. We're now going to the final game of Pool B. Mystical Legends vs. Ben, Sam and Blitz. Really good game here coming up. Two new teams for the final game on Pool B. That was good. Five points against the Rock Hoppers. Yep. Yeah, I said, well, you, know, you see it every tournament with the less experienced teams, but they jump in ability game on game. Uh, and yeah, they're not gonna they're not gonna take matches against these much more experienced teams, but they're learning so fast by playing them. Yes. And, you know, ne next tournament, all right, it won't be 26-5, maybe it'll be 15-5, then tournament after that it'll be 10-5, and then 5-8, eight, eight. Eight, and then all of a sudden they're at, yeah, and that's just the way it goes. As, you know, if you, the less experienced teams get the practice in, put the time in, they're gonna pick up though, they're gonna pick all The up. best example is Team Titans. Yeah, absolutely. They've done phenomenally well with the way they've, they've worked through. But another good example is... Yep. I'm just going to pull that up while we're chatting. Okay. Yeah, just double checking where we're at. Another good example of it is uh, the boys. They came for one tournament, not been back since. But true. But I mean, I think we're hoping to get them back in for, for training. So we've got uh, Mystic versus Blitz. Yeah. As our, fi as our final match for Pool B. Brian, I'm going to get my team started. Before you go, yeah. can I have a prediction? You don't know a lot about the teams, but. From what you've seen from today. From what I've seen, I would probably say Mystic. Okay. From what I've seen so far today, but I'm expecting to be close. Okay. I would have to agree with Jim on that one. Mystic will put some good shows against some good teams, have some good movement, and are naturally quite good at it. 
and are naturally quite fit. So yeah, let's see if the brothers can do it. But really good showing from every team today. I'm going to try and steal someone else for an interview. Who can I steal for an interview? I need. No one wants to make eye contact with me because they know if they make eye contact with me, I'm pointing at them and getting them over here for an interview. It has to be done. People have to be interviewed. I need someone for an interview. Let's see if I can get. I, need, I want to get another parent for an interview. I want to see. I'm scouting. I'm scouting. There we are, I'm getting someone to come. Get some, both, both come. So, I've heard a lot of shouting for Team Techno today. Okay. And, and a lot of shouting for Hellstorm. Okay. How do you think they've done this tournament? Sorry? How do you think they've done this tournament? Very well. Yeah. What do you think? Techno's done really well. Techno's done really well. Yeah. Well, yeah. They're in the pool stages. They are made it out and they are into the semis. Yeah, they're in the semis. I don't know who they have in the semis. It might be you. Uh, no, it's the boss. Ooh. I'm pretty sure. So who's boss? Techno, Rock Hop is only here. So all Brighton? Yeah, all Brighton. Yeah, all four Brighton. So all of you, well, at least three of you, are guaranteed to get bonus points. Well, here we are. It is Team Mystic Legends versus Team Ben, Sam, and Blitz. All right, first point on the board has gone to Mystic Legends. What tips would you give to these new players? Um, definitely play around with different stats. Because a lot of them will ask me for tips for stats. So I was thinking definitely figure out what you like yourself instead of just asking other people. Of course not, it's good to ask other people, but eventually like... What stat you go depends on what you actually prefer. So you can't really just do what other people do. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll yeah, so after this we're going to promote the Brighton Cup, we'll get everyone down here. Yeah. Um, ben, who is your favourite, my favourite individual player today? Well, uh, not Paris, um, oh. my favourite individual player, it's going to be Milo. Milo? Milo, okay. yeah. Okay. He's one of my favourite players because he can snipe, can't he? And that's, he yeah, uses he my really stat build, which is what I like. Yeah, what about Kieran though? He does the same stat build. Who? Kieran. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Kering, uh, Ghost. I like, I like Milo's, but because I like how he. It's what I try and do, basically. Uh, Milo and Ash, who I try and copy. I like enough. Ash. But anyway, we got to promote some it. What what date is the tournament? 28th of April. Where is it? Brighton, obviously. Uh, Hado Centre. Brighton. Everyone's got to be there. Everyone's got to be there, obviously. Yeah. yeah. As many teams as we can get. What about Synergy? They can come if they want. <laughs> yeah, but what day is it? 28th? 28th, yeah. They might be in Greece. <laughs> Fair enough, honestly. <laughs> Alright, sorry. It's been a really, really good tournament, this tournament. Yeah, it's been alright. I think it's been uh, quite a bit of waiting time, but that's cool to see. New players, yeah. Yeah, there's going to be issues. Take a while to get ahead to it, so I'll need help putting the stats in. It's definitely got quicker as it's gone on. Yeah, it definitely has. That Mystic Legends said they're going to come back, so we could see a new team in Mystic Legends. Really? They could be uh, um, one of the better teams. Uh, ben, Sami, and I'm not sure the uh, But uh, They've been here before, they played uh, in the opening. It's my first time seeing them, but so it's the second tournament, or is it the first uh, tournament? The first time was just an opening for the London, so not a tournament, so yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. So it's their first tournament. For a first tournament, playing against World Cup players is pretty... It's pretty intense, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Especially the boss going 44 and 2. Is that, is that the record? I think that's the record, yeah. I've heard, I've heard rumours it's the record and we've got yeah, it, it live definitely on the is the record. I don't think anyone else has got that much. I've seen, the highest score I've seen was three level 9 bots on 5545 beating level 0, 70. 70. That's the highest score I've seen. Yeah. 70 is a big score. I don't think anyone can actually get it in the actual match. In an actual Definitely match, it's Definitely. possible. Definitely. 60. 60, 60 is possible. Probably. But you Seven. need all five charges. Yeah, all five charges, and you have to get a one hit every time. Yeah. And you have to run the front lines. Yeah. So it's near impossible. Yeah. Right. If anyone team wants to be the first team to do it, you know what's on the game. 
they might do it, you know. <laughs> nah, but you guys. That's fine. Nice. Uh, we don't really get that many high skills anymore. But I don't think you guys have gone all out this tournament. Um, we're kind of taking it easy. It's the third tournament of the month, so... Saving your energy for yeah, the final. For the semis and the finals. Obviously, we don't want to want to put off new teams from playing, but then again, we don't try to go easy on anyone. Yeah, because it's experience. If, yeah. if you go easy, I think, oh, we can compete when really they, yeah, they can't compete. And they want to, if you beat them, they're like, I want to, next time I come, I don't want to be beat by that much. Yeah. I think saying, like, getting one kill or two kills is a good thing. Definitely be proud of yourself for that. But at the same time, you should always go for more instead of just one or two. How many times you died this tournament? Can you count it on one hand? Six. Are you doing press ups after every time? Uh, I did for some of them. I think Milo, I made him do five. Actually, no, I think I've died four times. Four times, yeah. There's a hand on the camera there. That's great. <laughs> Love to see it. Not on this camera, though. Really? Oh, this is a different one. Yeah, oh. different angles. We've got blue and red. Oh, that's it. I didn't notice on this thing. Mystic Legends, they won the first game, I think. Yeah. What's the first game? Okay, I have no idea. No, they haven't played yet, have they? No, they haven't played yet. I'm not sure. No, they have. No, they have, and it was... I'll go back and get it. figure it out. I think the Rock Hoppers was complaining they're going up against us again. Oh, they did play and they won. Sorry guys, you'll be able to see again now. I'm just fixing some it. Oh, four ten. Alright, so, no one has point on the board. Red Team has got the first point on the board. Red Team has got the first point on the board. Oh, Blue Team's taken out to 2-1. 3-1 now. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Alright guys, I'm back. Alright, can Mystic Legends hold the lead? Or will Red Team come back? Three points, one point in it. Mystic Legends are tired, it's their first tournament, they're tired. Alright, Sam Blitz and that. Fall in the lead by two points. It's going to be a close match, I reckon this could go over time. I reckon the kids always have more energy, so I think they're going to come back and get a couple points in the last 20 seconds. I hope I'm right anyway. Great to see the, the legend as Paris Lou, captain of England, on the stream. Legend. Legend. You're a legend now. The man in the himself, Paris. And it's 4.15 to Sam and Blitz. 6.15 now. Oh. I did it wrong way around, but I remember that score, so it's fine. It's, it's caught and I just swapped them round, so 10-5. It was 6-6. Six, six, yeah. And I think that was a... Uh, oh my god. I think it was 15. So yeah. Alright, there we are. There we are. That was the last game on the pool stages. Okay, yeah. Alright, so... You ready for the semis? Yeah, I mean, we're going against Rock Hoppers and then Techno's going against Boss, so... Do you reckon Rock Hoppers have potential to get a game off you? I'm not sure. I mean, yesterday Milo was saying he was at the top of his game, so we'll probably see that later. Jim, yeah. is it, am I correctly saying we're moving to the semi-finals? Yeah, yeah. So, Pool A, first and second were... First and second. So in first place it is RDK, in second place it is Techno. In pool A? That's pool B, sorry. Uh, in pool A, first place is the boss, second place is Rock Hoppers. Okay, so it is boss versus Techno and Rock Hoppers versus IDK semis. Okay. Boss versus Techno and the first one. Some good games coming up. Do Techno have it in them to beat the boss? Definitely not. I do like Techno, and I do well, I do train with them a lot. Uh, not a lot, but like one like hour a week. Sometimes, sometimes not. But if, if they played a hundred games, do they win one? Definitely win one. Yeah. Right, so, could this be that one game? Maybe you never know. But obviously, they're a new team. They're young. They just started. So. Score line predictions. Yeah. Score line predictions. Score line predictions. 
Double digits for the boss. Definitely. Do you reckon Techno get out of five? I think they definitely... And they could get a five. I think they could get a five. We've seen it happen before. Yeah. Techno's a really good team. They could just... Like, in a couple of years, they might even be beat boss. So. Or even you. Yeah, even us. <laughs> you never know. Like I'm going to do in the 1v1. In the 1v1? Two years from now. No, now. Now? Yeah, today. What are you talking about? Sorry about that one. 10 nil to me. 10 nil. Yeah, you're not going to get a petal. Not even a petal? No. If you go 1-1-1-1. If I go 1-1-1, one, one, one. One, 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 it'd be overtime. You wouldn't let me eat you, would you? No, probably not. I'll tire you out, innit? I'll tire you out. Yeah, you will. you got to get tired eventually. You don't know that. 40 games in a row. Oh, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll be on top, but I'm before the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> what was you doing? No, I want to do it for experience, because if I can get a point off you, yeah. that's all I aim for. It was better than last time. Yeah, but last time it was... Last time. It was 4-0. Uh, I was on one pestle. Yeah, I used all my energy in the first 20 seconds, and then I was... Yeah, yeah. and then after that, I kind of went down there. Yeah, it went really... The second you got that first point, I was like, there's no point me trying anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Just watch it. Brighton players. <laughs> what are they trying to get to? I don't know, they're trying to top the lights, but I don't know. I could do that. Really? No. Okay, fair enough. Be some honest. Yeah. Well, pretend you can. Yeah. I think Techno's calling for me, so I'll come back later, or I'll yeah, bring someone else in. No worries. Yeah, yeah, go and steal with someone. Yeah, I'll steal someone, I'll bring them. Thank you. Then we're rooting for you too. I need all the help I can get. We know I'm not going to win. I need all the help I can get. But it's all experience. I want to play players who are way better than me so I know what level I want to be on. Mm -hmm. I, I want to get to that level. If I can get to that level, I'm happy. It's going to take me many, 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 many years, but I can do it. Yeah. All right. So the boss and Techno are getting ready for their games. It is the semi-finals of the first Southern Regional in London. Sorry, in London. We have a member from the Rock Hoppers. Hello. Are you nervous for your uh, semi-final? Yeah. Yeah. There's a chance. There's a chance. Yeah. But big one. Not. Not. Not great. No. Are you going to give away your tactic? We don't really have one. Um, Just pray. Shoot Paris with three, two, four. That's basically it. But is that a stat to use against Paris? Nah, uh, that's a stat Paris hates. So okay, I'll use it in a one v one. Nah, I'm using five three. He knows what I'm going to use. Five three one one in a one v one. Fair enough. Yeah. Who's playing at the moment? It's the first. Ever, this is the first ever tournament in London. And is it the first season? First regional of the year? In um. I'm not actually sure. I think it might be. Did Brighton have a regional? Or a local? I honestly don't know. Well, it's either the second or first regional of the year in su Southern. Or, well, it's definitely the first regional ever in London. Mm. So, yeah. yeah. I think it's going well so far, though. I, I, hope, I want this game to go overtime. We've only had one overtime game this tournament. Mm. So, I'm rooting for another overtime game. Ideally, the overtime game is... Boss have won one game, RDK have won one game in the final, or you have won one game in the final. Whoever's in the final, basically the final has to be, both teams have won one game, it's the final game, and it goes to overtime. Mm -hmm. That's the ideal sweet spot. Long overtime as well, making more intense. No, nah, no, nah, really quick overtime. Really, really quick overtime. But instant, the first shot. Either first shot or long, no in between. Yeah, no, nah, you can't have it in between, that's boring. Yeah. It looks like the game's about to start. But it looks like the boss are nervous. I don't think they should be. No, <laughs> no I don't I was being sad. No, they should be. No, boss will I reckon boss will win this. Techno, it's all about how techno compose themselves. If they can show not skill but show I know they're young maturity in a tournament. Mm. I know George is really good with uh four four one one if he plays that then he'll have a good chance at like getting a lot of them. All it takes is one point. Mm, it does. Yeah, sorry about that, chat. Yeah, it's only one point and anything can happen. Mm. 
Ross might go shield by now. Oh no, it looks like they might be. Looks like he's packed in shields. Yeah, they're going shields. Yeah, no. no. Techno went shields. Do you reckon that's going to affect the game plan much for the boss? Fun. Do you reckon Techno going shields is going to affect the boss's game plan? Uh, definitely could, but it depends how quick they get the shields down and how they use them. I think they need to be a bit more aggressive with the shield. They're using it really far back and they're not really gaining anything from it. Yeah, sorry about that. We, uh... yeah. By the looks of it, Techno, if they get three points here, they could come back. They've got to get three points before 20 seconds is up. That's my theory anyway. They don't get three points before there's 20 seconds is left, it's over. Yeah, the shields are just too far back with them. I have, I have switched screen, haven't I? There we are. Yeah, thank you. It's alright, there's a massive delay on it. Alright, 8 3 2 team yeah. the boss. It's, it's best of 3, isn't it, this game? The boss are doing well. Semi finals is best of 3, isn't it? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so okay, Techno can still pull this back. Techno have done well, we've got 3 points. We've kept them down, 10. Only 7 points in between it. Next game, they could come back. I think they're just, they're not using their shields to their full potential. They're, they're playing really far back. Yeah, definitely. The further up is, is the easier to kill, so they just need to be a bit more aggressive and put them up high. Yeah, because I think they're nervous about putting them up close because they'll get knocked out. Yeah. They've got to be confident, they've got to go in there and like, look, I'm putting the shield up front and then they shout, shield left! Stuff like that, you got to... Yeah, who's doing shields? It's basically like the goalkeeper in football, you control your team. Yeah. Shielder controls the team. Yeah. They just need to decide where to put them at the start and then try and do that. They need a strategy for them, really. What's your strategy? I know you say you don't have depends, one, but I'm trying to get it out of you. Depends on the game, it really depends. Uh, usually, sort of try and keep one person shielded, or. It, it really depends, but there are multiple strategies you can use. Uh, but a lot of the time, it. In the corners, of like near the halfway, it works quite well. Just cover two angles, and uh, it works. Okay. Uh, so this is Techno versus the boss. The final game of the semi-finals, possibly, mm. possibly. We only have three more games after this. Possibly, no. No, we have. We possibly have six games if it, if every game goes no, to the distance. Have third and fourth, then. We oh, do, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah so. so we have nine. Nine more games. Possibly nine games, maybe less. Maybe six, maybe four, maybe one, maybe zero. I think you never five, know. Five games minimum. Minimum. Yeah. It is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. They have this and then two, two. Right, the teams are starting. Let's switch over early. There we are. Right, so. Seven games minimum, I think. Two shields for the Techno. That's bold, but. It, it is work. bold. I reckon. It caught them off guard a bit last time. They don't want to stack the shields though, one left, one right. Uh, you want to split them, they, you don't want them to shoot the shields at the again, same time. They're just not making use of them. They have two shields, they should just, they're stacking them way too much. They've, they've got a point though, it is close, but again, put one on the left, put one on the right, split the shields up, that's the best way to do it. They are winning right now though, mm. Techno are winning, the boss taking their time, the boss, as soon as the shields go down, the boss have a massive yeah. advantage. For now they're they winning. They need to save onto them, they need to hold onto them a bit. If they, they can hold this lead, the if they can hold this lead, they can get the round. 4-1. They've used a lot. They've used all their shields now. As soon as these shields down, it's over. Can the boss come back or will Techno come? Techno are winning. It's working. Boss. Two points in it. All Techno have to Ooh. do is survive for the last 30 seconds and they've won. Two more points in it. All Techno yeah, had to do is survive for 30 oh, seconds. 4-5. All Techno had to do is survive. Come on, Techno. 5-5. Can Techno get that next point? One's on one and one's on one. 15 seconds left. They don't get us. Oh, oh. Boss Hadley, Techno still can win this though. There's two points in it. There's two points. Three points looking less like Techno. That was. Yeah. It's That's not really looking unfortunate. good. Techno did so They're well at the game. So well at the start. That is their best game of the tournament. Yeah, that was really good. Really good game from Team Techno. Sorry, but I have to. No worries. Have a game. Boss, good luck. The boss are through to the finals. Now it's the Rock Hoppers versus RDK. Brilliant show in there from Techno. Brilliant show from the boss. Techno did absolutely amazing that game.
That was the great open. That was one of the best games of the tournament. Alright, so, challenge now. Rock up as first RDK. It's going to be three points in it. My, this is my predictions I'm giving, sorry. It's going to be three points in it. First game's going to RDK. Second game, four points in it. It's going to RDK. I think RDK take both games. I think they're too strong for, te uh, for Team Rock Uppers. Sorry. That's my predictions. However, in the finals, I reckon Boss win the first game. RDK, RDK win the s next two games. That's my predictions. Alright, so I'm trying to, I'm, in all honesty chat, I'm very tired, uh, my voice is hurting, but I'm trying to think of, not what to say, but I'm trying to think of the way to put what's going to happen in this game, because I think Paris is going to go shields, or either that or he's going to, I don't know, I think Paris is going to go attack, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like one of the teams is going to switch it up a bit. I do, I do think Rock Hoppers have an upset in them though, I do think they can take a game, however, it's good, it's, they've got to put everything into it, and it's going to be, it's going to be hard. It's gonna be hard for Rock Hoppers to. Uh, it's gonna be hard for them to do it, but I'm gonna say I reckon they can do it. I reckon Rock Hoppers can do it. I'll take it back. You won't forget to switch, will you? I won't forget to switch. Don't worry. I'm on it now. I'm on it. It's not I forget to switch. It's I'll click the button, but sometimes you'll click it and it won't switch, and it's because you don't double check it. You just automatically. You know, I can't explain it other than you think, because you've done it so many times, you think it's switched even though it hasn't. But oh, I'm going to make sure it switches, don't worry. We're just fixing the, ca uh, the eye and then we'll get the game rolling. Both teams have got the headsets on and are nearly ready, only a couple points in it. Here we have a semi-finalist from Team Techno. Uh, I have to say it was... That was it, good. Yeah, it was good. It was close for the first 60 seconds and then... Then when the shield went, everybody died. I tried to kill them, but my teammate just died. Well, I think it's a really good team play, and I think that was really good from all of you. So really good stuff. I think we might be able to beat the Rock Hoppers. So only hope. Because if, if we, if, they're yeah. not going to get into the National League. But, but if, if we beat them, we're in the National League. And they can help us, because they're not going to be in the National League well, anyway. theoretically, the Rock Hoppers could beat RDK here. I know it's a big... Big, big shout, but they could do it. No, no, I, I don't think so. Well, it's looking like the teams are all nearly ready. Here we are. Yeah, Lighting's got a bit darker all of a sudden. Heidi K are going to win. As yeah. always. Here we are. Two, one, go. Don't understand how See, there we seven. are. Did it. Did don't it there. understand how our seven. All right, so it looks like... Team RDK have gone shield. No, Team RDK have gone shield. Rockers have not gone shield. Let's see how it plays out. All right, first point on the board. Who's going to go to? First point on the board. Hopefully, good shield there from Paris on that left hand side. Hopefully, first point. No one's got a point yet. It's that Paris has got the shields on the left hand side there. Four, 20 seconds into the match. Good shot. There we are. RDK have the first point on the board. Will, will Rock Hoppers answer back? Will Rock Hoppers answer back? They need to get the shields down. They need to get those shields down. Shields aren't going down fast enough. Will Rock Hoppers answer back? Two points on the board for RDK. Sorry, no, no points. Still one point on the board for RDK. Will, will Rock Hoppers answer back? Two of them are on one, I think. Will Rock Hoppers answer back? Good movement here from Rock Hoppers. Good movement here from RDK as well. Only one point in this game. Good shield there from Paris on that left hand side again. Rock Hoppers have got a point on the board. It is 1 1. Will RDK answer back? RDK need to answer back. Rock Hoppers could get, take the lead there. RDK could take the lead to anyone's game. RDK have taken the lead. Rock Hoppers have to answer back straight away. There's only 15 seconds in. It's not enough time in the game for Rock Hoppers to come back. 4 1. It's looking like RDK is game for the first game. It's, a, it's looking like RDK's game for the first game of the tournament. Ooh. It's gone to RDK. 
Brilliant game there, 4-3. Good stuff from both the Rock Hoppers and Ardegay. Brilliant match, and hopefully the second one is just as good as that. Can you go and steal me someone from the bus? Can you, can you, can you steal me something weird? Something the player. I don't know, I want to say something weird. We're going to get a member of the boss here. There we are, we got him. Alright, so, you're watching the finals here. You're in the finals. That was a good game between the boss and the rock hoppers. Do you think the rock hoppers can win this game? That was one point in that last game, but it didn't look hard okay with that extra step. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if IDK actually tried. Cause I, I don't think I watched the last game, because I just went to toilet. So. Yeah, no, they, they were going for hard okay, well. They went shields. They went shields, they did well. Um, but great movement from the Rock Hoppers, very close scores. It was very close. Again, hard okay is such a good team, that, that scoreline is so respectable. We're going to switch screen now, guys, in three, two, one. Here we are, no one's on shield this time. 5 2 2, both two of them have gone 5 2 on Yardy K. No points on the board yet. Paris on one hit marker in the first 10 seconds. I can't see what the Rock Hoppers are on. No points on the board yet. Ardeke has the first point on the board. Rock Hoppers just got two simultaneous points. Rock Hoppers are in the lead. The first time this tournament against RDK, someone has taken the lead. It's 2 2. Ardeke answers straight back. Good shield there from the Rock Hoppers. 3 2 for the Rock Hoppers. 3 2 for Rock Hoppers. 40 seconds left to go. Can RDK answer back? RDK have answered back. It's 3 3. 4-4. Four, four. Really, really, really close game here for RDK. I didn't think they would do this well. It's 4-4. Four, four. Rock Hoppers getting some good shots off. Folks in Paris there on the back left. 5-4 for the RDK. RDK have taken the lead. Can Rock Hoppers hand to back? Will RDK start taking away again? Still only one point in it with 15 seconds to go. Two points in it with 15 seconds to go. Will the Rock Hoppers hand to back? Good movement there from Paris. Really good movement. He's got hit. 7-5. The Rock Hoppers need two points in five seconds. Can they do it? Is the game going to overtime? 7 6 to RDK. Again, only one point in it. Brilliant from both teams. Brilliant show from the Rock Hoppers. Brilliant show from RDK. Brilliant from both teams. Absolutely brilliant performance. It is now the boss RDK final. Yeah. All right. Well, what's Good your prediction? You win the first game. RDK win the second game. I'm not telling you what I think in the third game. Brilliant game from both teams there. I'll get a Rock Hopper or an RDK player to come and have an interview. RDK need a bit of a break now. Techno, oh, is Techno, Techno, Techno versus Rock Hoppers for the final. No, for the, not final, sorry, for third place. It's third place. Techno versus Rock Hoppers, third and fourth place. That was the most down to the wire. That was really close game. Really good stuff. So, predictions for this game, Techno versus Rock Hoppers. Rock Hoppers would win. I mean, they did really well against Ida Kelly. They held their own well. Also, did we went against the Techno. They, I don't think the second game was a bit more hard. I don't know why I was told I think they will stand a good chance. By, like, I would like to see Techno get a round off because Techno deserve a round off and Techno have had such a good tournament, but it's going to be hard for them to do it. They might beat them. I think at most Techno will beat them once. I would I will, I'll like Techno to get a win, they deserve a win from them. They'll be quite close, one of the games, but I think the other one will be like five point difference. It's been a good tournament, this has. You enjoyed the tournament? It's taken forever. Pardon? It's taken forever. It's taken forever? It's been four hours. Yeah. How do you think my voice feels? No, I'm joking, I don't mind, I'm used to this now. I'm enjoying it. I'm getting a bit tired.
Rock up is our one to watch in the next tournament. I reckon they're going to. I reckon they could be. I reckon next tournament, Rock Hoppers could take a game off to Boss or even RDK after seeing that. That was one point in both games. They could have swung it either way, you know? That was a really good game from the Rock Hoppers. Both teams are ready here. Let's see what happens. We get, we're giving Rock Hoppers a bit of a break because they had a back to back game. Oh, yeah. But like most of the games today, they, they take so long to start. It's because a lot of the players are new, so it takes a while to get their headsets and all that on. I know. It's been a good tournament, though. Really good tournament. Yeah. Was it the tournament supposed to end at 7? Yes. Oh. But like 14 minutes. Yeah, but I don't mind. Game has started. This is for third and fourth place. Techno versus the Rock Hoppers. I mean, Serb is a World Cup player, so he's not that good. First point on the board. I think he'll have no problem beating Techno. Even though Techno are like a strong team. I don't think we should be pushed up. There. Rock Hoppers have the first point on the board. You're right, Techno needs to sit back. Jake needs to pull back. Good moves there. Really good moves there. 4-0 to the Rock Hoppers. Techno need to get a point on the board sooner rather than later. Hey, hey, 4-0 to Techno. 4-1. 4-1. Techno have got a point. 5-1. Techno have one point. Techno can get points. Techno can get points here. They can come back. They can come back. Techno can come back. Only five points in this game. It's still anyone's game. Seven. Oh, it's getting a bit of a wave from now. Techno are losing the game slightly. I think Rock Hoppers had a good game. Rock Hoppers are playing absolutely out. Rock, Rock Hoppers are playing amazing. But also remember, Percy's not like, officially on the Oh yeah, he's not, is he? No. He's a boss player. Is he the oldest boss player? No, I'm not. Just, no, no, Who? Leanne. Wait, I, so I think she's year 12. I'm year 10. Got well, 15-4. To the Rock Hoppers, brilliant showing there from both teams. Who went 10-0? Someone's going one and one, someone's going 10-0. That's good performance. That's really good performance from both teams. Can't wait to see the second match. Not for the semis, no. One more game before we get to the finals. Are you nervous? No. Do you reckon you're going to win? I'm trying to read your mind. I'm trying to see what you're thinking. Like 40% chance. Or like 30. I can see it in your head. You're actually very confident. I can see it. You're thinking in your head, no, we're going to win. Oh, uh, yeah. I can see it. I didn't say that. I didn't think that. Either. No, but I can see you're thinking it. I read minds. How? I don't read minds. But I reckon you do have a chance of winning. Yeah. It's gone so dark already. Score predictions for this game. Well, looks like Techno's going shields. Depends how they play. If they're playing like what they just did earlier, then probably like 11 4 or 11 3. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's a good score line. If they adapt, then probably quite close. It could go either side, it should maybe like 6 8 to one of them. But, uh, probably 8-6 to Rock Hoppers, I reckon, if they play well. Game has started. All right. Red team have gone shields. They Techno don't. have gone double shields. Will this catch Rock Hoppers? Rock Hoppers? Rock Hoppers off guard. Yeah, but they, their spam is good. They don't want to put the shields on the same place. They want to split the shields up. They want to put two separate shields, have someone in the middle, and two people on the shields attacking. But this is just showing the experience. First point on the board, 14 Rock Hoppers. Rock Hoppers. Second point on the board for Team Rock Hoppers. It's 45, 40 seconds left, only two points in it. Anyone's game still. Oh no, Team Techno could come back. Techno have got the first die. point. 
Techno are about to lose a lot of life cells. 3 1 2 Rock Hoppers. Techno need no point now. Good move there from Techno. Good move from George. George on the right side causing a bit of trouble. 4 1 2 the Rock Hoppers. 6 1 2 the Rock Hoppers. 20 seconds left to go. 6 1 2 the Rock Hoppers. 7 1 to the Rock Hoppers. 15 seconds left to go. 13 seconds left to go. 12 seconds left to go. 10. 10 seconds in the final 10 seconds and Rockhoppers are starting to get starting to lose some points. Techno have got some points. It's five seconds left in it. Rockhoppers have beat Techno 3-9. Brilliant show in front of Techno. Brilliant showing from the Rockhoppers. Techno are out of the tournament in fourth place. Rockhoppers are out of the tournament in third place. It's now between the boss. How many points did Techno get there? Techno got three. Oh, in, in that game they got three. In total, Techno got. I mean, like the actual points. 96. Oh. And RDK got 172. What, what about us so far? You, you got 193. What? Yeah, because you got 44. Because you got so many high kill games, you got so many points. What does that mean? So you in the pool stage, you just got 193 points. Because you got 40, a 44 kill game, a 36 kill game, and a 33 kill game. Oh, I don't know that one. No, I'm on about how many points you scored in total this tournament. You scored the most. Oh, no, like that. Oh. Two sets, guys. Sorry. Alright, so, finals coming up, it's the boss versus RDK, the final everyone expected. Will it be an amazing final? I imagine it's going to be an amazing final. I can't wait to watch it. Uh, I'm sorry to anyone that we missed. We lost to Internet Connection and we got it back straight away. The boss won that game 8-5. We're going into the final game of the whole tournament now. I'm sorry to anyone who missed any games. Um, we're back. Yep, so people can at least see the results. Oh, yeah. I forgot the results are still on. There are results, guys. Brilliant performance from the boss. Brilliant performance from the RDK. Yep. So, sorry about the stream going down, guys. We've got it back up now, obviously. Uh, we do have that match recorded, so that will, so that will get uh, uploaded uh, uh, onto the, uh, the video on demand. Uh, for uh, those that missed that fight, that match, but we, we're now moving to a third round decider. We missed a bit of it because I was trying to get the stream back up. Yeah. yeah. Alright. There we are. Alright, guys, this is the match decider. The final match between RDK and the boss. This is the big, big match. I can't wait. Alright, if, if this match goes overtime, it's perfect. If this match goes overtime, it's going to be amazing. You gotta go and shout, you gotta go make some noise, Tom. Go make some noise. I wanna hear you from over here. Right, I've got Tom. We're gonna to hear Tom in the background now. He's gonna be shouting, he's gonna make some noise, he's gonna be cheering for the team he wants to win. Let's hear some atmosphere. Teams are getting ready. We've got some technical difficulties here with a life marker. It will be fixed shortly. I'm just looking at the stats. It's looking like the RDK are just showing the boss what stats they've gone by. Look to it. I don't think they mind. I think they all know what stats are going to go, really. I think they know each team's that well, but it doesn't matter what stats people go. Let's go. Oh, come on! No points on the board yet. First point's going to be an important point. This is a big game. This is for all the bonus points. This is a big hit in the rankings. 20 seconds in, no point on the board. First point on the board has gone to RDK. 
Second point on the board has gone to the boss. It is 1 1. It's 1 1. Good shield there from Paris on that right hand side. Next point on the board, who's it going to go to? Next point is big one. Paris has got two shields on that right hand side. Next point has gone to IDK. 2 1 to IDK. 35 seconds left. The boss putting some work in. Can they get that point? Can they bring it back? The boss are. IDK have no shields left. It is 2 2. 2 2. The IDK have no shields left. 2 2. 2 2. And I'll keep saying 2 2, but it's 2 2. Going last into the last 20 seconds now. Anyone's match still. Next point is a big point. Next point has gone to IDK. Will the boss answer back? IDK are going to do some movement now. Next point has gone to the boss. 4 3 to the boss. 5 3 to the boss. Where the boss going to win the tournament? The boss have won the tournament! The boss have won the first London Southern Regional Tournament of 2024. Brilliant play there from the boss. Brilliant play there from the boss and IDK. Made for a brilliant show and made for a brilliant final. What a tournament and what a game. Okay, to put that in perspective, that is the first tournament loss for IDK in the UK since 2019. <laughs> That is, wow. that is a break, that is a four, a five year unbroken tournament streak that's just fallen. Brilliant, brilliant from both teams. Why? Yeah. Do, you, do you want me to sign out? By their younger siblings. Um, yeah. yeah. So guys, that was the tournament. A brilliant finish there from IDK and the boss. The boss have beat IDK. That's the first time IDK have lost the tournament since 2019. Brilliant tournament from everyone. Hope to see you guys next time when we stream the next tournament. Have an amazing day, have an amazing weekend, and I'll see every last one of you 